And as we enter into the start of round four... We see Frog looking to go for an A rush. Nice boost. CT seemed to be in a pretty standard default. Two watching B, one boosted up. T's have really not contested outside, though. Frog seems to not be wanting to take that fight. CTs are getting a little anxious, peaking ramp. Frog might be setting up to make a push coming up soon. They seem to be repositioning, giving up lobby control. Smokes outside are coming in. Yeah, they might be trying to push down secret. They're now making loud footsteps going towards ramp. They still have the two CT players here they have to get. Blasting out on ramp, they're gonna get the guy in hell. They get the guy boost as well, that's crazy. They now have full ramp control. They're gonna rush right down here. Smoke off single. Looks like our CT's already doubled. They get the molly off, pushes him out into control room. They win the fight control room with the boot frag from the AUG. And the last kill there. Wet will get the round with the defuse. Go up 3 to 1 here. I like the explosion there from Frog. I really thought they had that. They definitely made a good entry into sight after sort of feeling it out and seeing where everything was going to go that round. Even if it didn't turn into something more than just a plant, they should have money here based on getting that plant down and having a buy that round. I always love the CS2 load in Bort elevating his feet on the side because you, uh, your character model spawns in at weird locations. Gonna take an aggressive peek here from Wet. And backs off with the util. T's have taken their smoke wall all the way to secret, but they're not aggressing in after the re-smoke from Wet. Timing missed there on the lobby plate. There's three T's coming here. Do they clear him? They do, but lose the fight to the MP9. Best gun in the game. He's not seen here. They don't know where he went. But they're waiting for him. Oh, they hold the angle? Okay, they trade him. So now it's one and three v three now. CTs know that they're pushing A though. They've got squeaky covered. If they're gonna waterfall out of mini, they're gonna have an issue here. They don't clear back sight. Trades one and one, but penguins with the aug from mini. Gonna hold down the sight and get that double to end the round. Yeah, that was a pretty poor flash. Uh, you can line that up so it goes into the back of uh, Silo there and actually flashes the CT, but he kind of just freehanded it. You still need to clear it, though, even if you flash out there, and that's a big thing that, that Frog lost on that round. Yeah, they got the refrag back there, but going down 2-2 two to two when Wet has full sight control like that, it's not going to end well. B-Web, surprisingly, with no util here, Going into this four to one round. I think that's pretty par for the course for B Web. He's gonna just peak aggressive, play aggressive. He likes holding right angles sometimes. He's a he's a he's an X factor sometimes for a wet. I can't quite tell how he's done this match so far, but if it's working for him, then four to one says keep doing what's working. Penguin's taking that outside B, still with his AUG, holding from two rounds ago. Aggressive trophy room take. Is he going to clear it? He's not. He's going to lose to a P250. 
give a free weapon over to the T's. And the T's are just going to run straight out onto ramp. They do have good smokes, but it doesn't Ooh, quite line up. There. Yeah, if he had just stayed on that, that line a couple more bullets down, probably could have gotten that pick ramp. Oh, they don't clear single. But CTs aren't clearing. But they do hold the round out. They looked a little lost on on Frog's part. They sort of seemed to just scramble after that first kill and just take ev just run everything up and get the bomb. So, with the five <laughs> no, to one lead, Milky's having issues. I'll be, I'm good. With the five to one lead, Wet is in control of this first map, and they can sort of do what they want. They can start to really impose their will by taking space and forcing Frog to really play Wet's game right now. Still doesn't do a great job clearing silos. Luckily, no one's back there. They do spray down the guy mini. There's now three CTs in your mini. Sprays one out and gets pushed from behind. Penguins put that AUG spray down for that little bit of BM right there. CT should still be on full buys here, just. Holding down Frog's every only round. played a nuke once this entire season, so I'm guessing this is probably a pick from Wet, or maybe they just uh, were practicing it and thought this would be a, a good uh, trick against Wet, but it doesn't seem to be working out, and that, if that's the case. If this is Frog's pick, I'm very worried for Frog's prospects going forward, because whatever Wet picks, they are going to be solid on. And this, this would be a tough way to start the round. But if it's Wet's pick, Frog's really going to have to come strong in these next two. If this is how the match continues. They do have Fast into Secret, but can't get the trade out. b -Web backs it up. This time with full kill. And does Molly to stop the re -aggress Yeah, that was a good Frog. aggressive peek from B-Web. Nuda also retreated and tried to go for more. Um, which is actually a really good play. A lot of recruit players like to try to force those kills in. Toast does clear, but B Web has the angle. I was talking about those red angles. There wasn't really too much of a red angle, but it's just the it's, it's, the way he positions is really good sometimes. Missed off shot luckily does not cost because teammates are there to assist and refrag out on the CT side. And just rushing out onto site, not going to get the bomb plant that way. Not when Wet's got total map control. Penguin is having a dominant performance with that over 100, 141 ADR right now. That is, that is a way to dominate a half. And it looks like we have a disconnect? Is that what I'm seeing on... One frog player no, no longer in, so we're on a tech. Yeah, drop his lost connection. Yeah, well, they're still going to use their 30 seconds correctly, even if they do have the wrong timeout called. We should be okay. We'll be back Ho to this pretty soon. Hopefully drop's internet can uh, pull through for this uh, series here. I knew he was having issues beforehand as well. Yeah, our hearts go out to his power company. <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys feel on what Frog really needs to do here, because something something needs to change soon, or this is gonna this is gonna be an eleven to one half, and what's gonna have a cakewalk to map number one. It's hard to hard to follow with the feed right now, but. Uh... What they should be doing is probably throwing out, throwing those outside smokes quite often, 
and uh, but not go into a secret every time just trying to play outside uh, you know pressure that make sure that you know they're keeping at least two people there like many in garage and then um, try to hold people lobby as well for those aggressive pushes through trophy and try to uh, punish their uh, aggressive peaks so they play more passively from what I've I've heard and I'm not the best nuke player by any stretch. Um, nuke is a is a map where testing and sort of forcing uh, little conflicts are big, right? Letting letting the when your T's right, pushing your boundaries and seeing where everything is, sort of prodding and looking for the weak spot. And it looks like even the couple of times that Frog has thrown those outside smoke walls. Um, the CTs have re-aggressed just with a little couple pieces of util, and Frog has backed right off, with the one exception when that one-on-one -on -one fight happened when B-Web took that aggressive peak secret stairs, and then he got a double off of that because Toast wasn't close enough to trade, and then lost the, the, the second fight. Maybe Frog needs to play a little more together, take a couple more peaks maybe could, fake could try like a like an a rush they could do like a molly and hut throw the 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 uh, mini smokes and do like a couple flashes outside of um outside of like on the outside like upper and uh just try to take a try to punish the them leaving that open if they only have one person on silo it should be pretty easy to take if they can just smoke off um heaven yeah that's a that's a fairly good point they um they have had some i uh, some success taking ramp not every round but they had the i think it was round four right when we got here that they late pushed out of tunnel trophy and they got the initial pick hell and then properly swung the guy boosted up and got that double and they just couldn't close out that round wet wet collapsed and and won enough frags and another time they they did also aggress out of of ramp and one that was on their pistol save when b web was dropped taking his aggressive peak into trophy and if they can keep taking ramp that gives them something they don't have to immediately rush b but if they take the space they might be able to utilize the fact that they have additional map control now that they weren't given before especially if you've now got the advantage numbers I also think they just gotta make sure their spacing is good. <clears throat> They're where I think in that uh, that bottom B hit, it probably could have went their way, but the uh, the spacing and the uh, the pathing wasn't very good. I don't think they really had like an entry pathing um, for clearing all the angles. So they could get all the information for where everybody was at. Um, but you know, I think that was pretty chaotic. They were just kind of they got the kill and they were just trying to go in fast, and uh, the timing just wasn't there. I think they also haven't had the strongest post plant positions. Specifically that that B round that I was speaking about, they they were sort of holding some open angles, right? They frog won the the fight against control room, but then uh, were exposed to the double door peak, and then the single door swung open. I think was a separate round, but they're just maybe they're not communicating properly, or they're a little frazzled, maybe with. Uh, drops internet not being that great. Maybe he's having some issues before this disconnect right now. We can yeah, his power it. was uh, was out, so it might be that his internet just fully hasn't recovered yet. Maybe there's a little packet loss or something. Yeah, that definitely could be the case. Do yeah, we know who's played? Go what the ruling is if he doesn't come back? Is there an emergency sub situation, or do they have to just finish this one four v five? I think there's that that 15 minute buffer they're given, but beyond that, I'm not exactly certain what they're allowed to do. Worst case, right? You play it out four v five, and you uh, you try to to take some time, get them back, or maybe get an emergency sub for match two. Yeah, if they can get another sub for map two. I mean, I'm just saying, my boy Brian, bro, he's still there. He's still there. <laughs> well, the the delay was supposed to allow Drop to have have time and be ready to go. Maybe he, maybe Brian will get called up to playoffs. You know, he, he'll get brought into the show. Dude, Brian deserves to be in the big leagues. He's a he's my boy. He's a great player. He's gonna drop at least twenty. I'm sorry if you don't, and then you get me. That's my fault, Brian. But I believe in you.
Yeah, Brian, Sentinel's talking a big game for you if you're listening to this stream. You either better deliver or you're going to have to put Sentinel back in his place if he's going to keep talking you up like this. Yeah, I think Sentinel just cursed him. Um, pretty no, much no, anything no. Sentinel says goes he's the not, other way. He's not able to be cursed. He's a Chad. That is true. He is a monster oh. in Recruit, and it's unfortunate that he's an F.A. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm getting word from next season that Brian has now bottom fragged several matches after Sentinel hyped him up in playoffs for the previous <laughs> season. No, 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 Listen, listen. He's going to be on a dream team next season. He's going to pop off. That's all I'm saying. That is true. There are sources saying that as well. <laughs> yeah, there are sources. Sources indicate he's been picked up by a big player in the recruit leagues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I finally got some stream quality back there. So I was a little quiet at the start, but uh, yeah, it's unfortunate start for FRG seven one. And if they can't get the uh, can't get drop to come back, it's going to be a real tough climb to get back in this game. So while we have a little bit of extra time here, I did just receive how the map bans and picks went. Frog did get first banned. They banned Ancient. Wet banned Inferno, which means Nuke is Frog's pick. And Wet then chose Vertigo. Frog banned Anubis. Wet banned Overpass. And if we make it to a third map, we will decide on Mirage. So if Frog continues to have this kind of showing, they're going to need a real strong showing on Wet's pick of Vertigo, and Wet has looked strong on Vertigo this season, so it is a bit of an interesting pick for Frog to choose Nuke, unless they thought that they had some secret strat that they had figured out, maybe watching well, some of Wet's not, gameplay. Maybe the, maybe the thought was that you know Wet hadn't really played Nuke very much, and that maybe they would not have strats prepared. Keep in mind, they are on the CT side first, it could be, you know, they get 8-4, Frog can bring back these next, like, three rounds, or, or th at least, I guess, at least three more rounds. Then, you know, they get on CT side, maybe they clutch it out. You know, 8-4 is not too bad for CT uh, to start with, and then we can uh, talk about, like, Vertigo, you know, everybody, uh, most teams know the, like, 2A smokes and the flash over side hall. Like, I don't think that's impossible to, like... It's impossible to beat Wet on Vertigo as long as they got their A exit kind of figured out. You know, if they know that Molly for headshot on B, um, they know their Molly for jump up, and they can just work together, default well, I think it's possible that they can still win this. I think something right now that's interesting, and we haven't had this long of time to talk about it, but I'll be curious if the T's are popping those windows for any A takes, right? Consistently or inconsistently, are they giving any of, any of those bits of information out? Because we seem to be seeing the, the outside smokes go down, at least two of those. But if we're not popping the windows up top for whether or not nades go in there, because you could get some of those nades to nade off uh, on top of hut, because we've seen some of the CT players boost up there Maybe you get a little bit of better action on a flash to flash out the Heaven player when they go to peek out, and then they only have to smoke off into a clear back silo. Could get them some... So, we'll, uh, we'll be back in a bit. Hopefully, we'll have more word on drop status for the rest of this match.
and we're back. We have no drop to start this, so we are 4v5 for the current time until something else changes, and we'll bring you any updates that we have there, but Frog is taking this fast out A squeaky, but just standing in a molly and burning is not a great way to wow. start, but they have A control fast, and Pretty the plant a free down. sight for him as well. Yeah, having smoked out, they they use that tack time really to uh, set up a good play for this first one. But sadly, Toast gets dropped early on an off. Prodigy Toast dropped at mini. Bomb defuse going down right now. Fallen drops poutine and... Okay, late round frag. Secures an AUG, so not a total loss of a round. But definitely not the way they were expecting that to go after such a free take. But they might be going fast just to try to play against the numbers since they're they're starting off in a 4v5. Yeah, and I guess that answers the question on what happens when Drop doesn't come back, right? So it looks like they're going to have to finish this 4v5 unless Drop is allowed to rejoin. I don't know. Okay, we get an early pick, so now it's 4v4. Let's see how aggressive the CTs play this at ramp. The Ts have slowed down. But they are waiting for some CT aggression. They flash out, they swing, they do get the kill. They're now up for a 4v3 with ramp control. Two players A trying to rotate fast, one down, vent. But now the Ts are coming up heaven, at least with one. They're making a lot of noise. I don't think the CTs hear this. They do rotate around to plant A. But Penguins gets the trade. Does he swing the guy's sight? He does. The heaven player, is he ready for this? Smoke's going down. He doesn't see him. He's going to stick the defuse. And trade it out. This will be a solid round. Unless the swing, That's no quit. No quit from Penguin? No oh, and he doesn't swing the knife enough. Uh, that is just depressing. That is such a yeah. bad, bro. That's going to hurt the uh, the mood in the camp for sure. And that is a 9 1 half so far, and that easily could have been bro, 8 2. If I was them, I would take a tactical timeout and I would just sit there and let that. Let that chill out for a second, because that is unfortunate. Yeah, that's heartbreaking for sure. They're definitely deflated over that. Two chances to get the bomb planter, or the bomb diffuser, and they just couldn't get it. That's... You hate to see it, honestly. Definitely felt like a bit of a spacing issue. I was even mistaken thinking that the Heaven player was last, but there was the AK front sight. Uh, but just way too far away to even get that trade out, and then just slightly... Slightly unfortunate play in how the the smoke landed and where penguins was especially when he didn't have the kit but good trade to open the round from prodigy toast the t's are holding some angles they could get this they get another pick there's one more here ramp do they clear him they don't clear him one walks out all right all right but toast trades him out wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. oh and the cts think they're gonna fake it but prodigy toast already peeking him i think that was Fallen, did I say? Can't read the name that great. One CT left. Does he go for this? Probably. They've got plenty of money. He thinks they're B, and he's going to be very sad when he finds out that they are back. Yeah, even just getting another gun out of the hands of FRG is huge right now. Their economy is not very strong. They do continue to get these bomb plants, which is nice, but it's tough. They are not playing in a very tradable way either. Heaven is looking down ladder. One is playing, I want to say, mini right now. And the third player, I think, was hunting outside. So I'm not sure that if Prodigy Toast was looking for this kill right now, that not Prodigy Toast, wrong team. If the CTs were looking for this kill, that, that FRG would be able to trade if one did drop. Well, Penguins gets to save the up. It was a pretty good round they did. They were getting really aggressive. Like I said, wet before. Um, wet is a very aggressive 
uh, well, they like to take spacing on CT pretty aggressively, and they just held for him and punished him because there wasn't really any utility being used. They just tried to drive deep the uh, T's. The T's held for it. It was really good. I was kind of afraid that they were going to get uh, too focused on ramp and they might get flanked at a bad timing, but it seemed like they were watching pretty well. Last round, so I think it was definitely good that that frog didn't hunt down and and let the op stay alive because it wasn't going to affect Wet's money all that much, and this guarantees that all three of them live, especially because they did, CTs did not hunt for any of those exit frags, just kind of walked away with the AWP. But we had that great initial damage outside and the first pick. So we're still in a 4v3, but with a lot of damage on that garage player have secret but they're not pushing down it yet they're they're definitely taking their time here and they're not looking to over aggress into a site that they don't know about it might be that they're also trying to wait and see if they get pushed from from outside so they can get another out the that bit of utility on time together with three smoke so they know one ct is here do they swing through the pop smoke? Not in time. They, they do sure. push it. Looks like he's running forward. Gets the kill of the they guy then. Do they regress A? Doesn't clear Silo out of double doors. But they know he's back there now. He's now far side from single. Staring at single. So we'll see how the T's take this. The T is hearing all those footsteps ramp and dies to a guy. Which was... Fallen... No, Fallen's dead. He's a cool guy. Cool guy on that swing. A 10 to half is a dominant performance for Wet, especially on FRG's pick. This is going to be a tough time for FRG to come back from this, especially still without drop and playing in a 4v5 on CT with the disadvantage. It'll be interesting to see how much aggression they can get yeah. out of this, or if the T's just barrel roll 5 to a site and just try to shove it down FRG's throat. They definitely have to win pistol here. If they don't win pistol, it's basically over. The CT economy is rough. CTs don't have a great force buy, especially if they took armor here and do lose this. They are four outside. A wall they of do smokes. Know, but they're not swinging for the doobies. Do oh, don't no. get that initial pick. Three swings. Doesn't oh, get the no. kill. That's two drops for wet. We do get a refrag. Two frags. Two. All right. That's a pretty good way to, to bring this back. Plant is going down. Do they deny it? They do deny oh, the plant, they... but pushing control room wins okay, the fight. Okay, let's go. That's a 4K right now, I think. There's one left. They do have the chance to win this. Are they going to clear vent? He's hungry. There it is. No let's ace, go. but a great recovery of that, that round. 4 5 that is what you need out of one of your best players there. That 4K was important. Yeah, that was a great round out of Poutine there. Poutine needs to keep showing up, though, because that is, that is going to lead them back from the jaws of defeat. An interesting buy here, mostly MP9s. I did see Poutine with the A1. It looks like the T's have Even full save this. That guy talked about... On top of Mini, doesn't clear, takes long to get a kill, can't get the follow-up. They do know he's up there now, they've pushed out, two out on site, three out on the site. Heaven cannot trade any of them out, but top of Hut player does get a second. He's getting picked from Mini, and now the T slow it down. Reaggress, but there's a squeaky player, does get the kill. Now down to one left, does he try to stick the plant? And do the CTs let him get away with this? They do. Not looking for that early aggress. They flash in to hut. T is holding for it. Swings. And Heaven comes in. There it is. Great play. There go. Bomb so plants really... Had, uh, SMGs as well, so that's going to build up some money in the bank. Make it yep. uh, at least doable. Hut, top hut player did get that double. Deep. And... The MP9 in Heaven seemed like a very interesting position, though. Unfortunately, I mean, he saw him. It's, it's hard to spray from a distance like that, and I don't think the Heaven player even picked up one kill. I mean, it was a distraction for the Hut guy, but it was an interesting spot to put it. Yeah, I don't believe he did. If he does get a kill there, if he gets those couple of head taps, especially because they... I, I don't think the T's had any armor that round. 
that would have been a great pickup, more $600 kills. But as you said, it did get the hut distraction. They still came away with the rounds. They didn't lose the rifle. This is a full buy for the T's, though, and it is going to be important that the CTs don't get too aggressive. Oh, and there's the, the first pick, B-Web on Toast. The head tap with the AK will get you. CTs are able to frag back, so we're still playing a 4v3 T advantage right now. They do... T's already are down secret. They're ready for the swing and the pre-fire around the corner. This is going to be a tough round for Frog to get back into. They still have two players, A. They don't have control of B anymore. Although there are two T's hanging around lobby right now. We'll see how this goes out. Bomb coming back around outside, and now holding up, not sure where they want to go right now. They're in that stalemate, waiting for... Both teams waiting for the other to aggress into the wrong kind of peak. Trying not to give away any information, sound cues. And they do the peak. The reload out in the open oh. is going to get you killed, and it does. They have the kill A. Making all the noise running down to ramp, trying to... Doesn't distract him enough. Does trade out the Heaven Peak. Looking around for what weapons he wants. Now in a 1v2. They heard him come down this way. He hears the doors open. Let's see how he takes it. Says he aggressed down stairs to double. T takes him to control room presence. And trades him out. That is going to be breaking the CT economy there. He did take a look. There was a kit there. As our lovely producer pointed out to us, there was a kit right on the body, but overall didn't matter in the end with the, the drop and not even a, an attempt, not even a chance, I should say, to get that diffuse off. T's taking the usual approach of getting their outside smokes up. CT's with the aggressive molly to prevent the outside take or even squeaky a double kill for the cts on an mp9 good for the economy and we'll see what they can make out of this they now have an ak they have a famas in lobby so they have full lobby control we'll see if the t's try to re-aggress here or wait for the ct aggression t's do have outside all the way outside a main and they have top lobby they have the roof and they can hear all the footsteps there was a quick gunfight and dropping back taking the smart play they have the advantage they don't want to give it up still holding for that late lobby aggression another kill taken and down to one t left they don't know where he is but he can't get the kill right there to frack to to save his teammate, and that is an impressive. That was CT such side. a necessary gun round. Yeah, that was a clean gun round too. If drop so, yeah. comes back in time. This is definitely doable. Um, they're actually playing really well for a four v five. They're not getting too aggressive. I mean, there was a couple times where I think they probably could have just held back, but I think it worked out anyway. But um, yeah, we have a timeout right here. Really good. Maybe timeout by the tadpoles. Are they possibly getting dropped back here? Or is this I... just them trying to figure out exactly how they want to approach these these next couple of rounds? Because every one of these is super important. I read that it would be impossible to get dropped back in due to the fact that um, you can't rejoin from a new IP address. And he was using his phone hotspot in order to play. So because his hotspot dropped out, he obviously created a new one, which is under a different IP address. So he, if that's true, oh. there's no way he can even get back into the server, unfortunately. That would be unfortunate. And that he probably made that decision based on timing. This match was already delayed slightly, presumably for the, the power outage and the internet issues. And he was doing whatever he could to get up and running. And that is unfortunate. I think that's in how that, that case, you just be like yeah guys i'm not gonna be able to make it and you probably just get a sub that was a uh, probably an unnecessary risk i don't know if it just looked really good from their point of view maybe the you know everything was coming back up 
But if he's using hotspot, I'm guessing it probably wasn't looking too good, and the internet was probably out. I probably would have just been like, yeah, guys, you need a sub, because <laughs> this seems like it probably could have been avoidable if that's the case. It's definitely yeah, an interesting it's... question. You understand taking in your... You, you want your five. You want your team that you've been playing with. Another disconnect here, and... Everyone is disconnecting. Did, Did they? Are they restarting? The are they going to restart the server so that it's a new server that Drop can join? Okay, so we're going to pick up at the eleven six. According according to Captain Scotland, he uh, they're looking into the possibility of Drop returning, and then this happened, so it could be possible. It is. Definitely possible then if that's what they're redoing. And I love seeing our names here. Um, I apparently had a horrible typo in mine and Milky and Sentinel here, my co-casters, don't believe in capitalization. So I swap my I and my E and Milky and Sentinel just don't get capital letters. So what a great what a great Actually, shot to my, open uh, up on. My actual username, my S and my L and my name are capitalized. So this is a producer error mm. and I will be making a complaint after this stream. Yeah, Look, and everybody see, I was who's being played nice. with Sentinel knows that the L is definitely capitalized. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You know, if we're going to just be taking shots, every one of us has at least one L in our name here, and we all didn't make playoffs. Maybe we need a, a name change here. Yeah, in that case, my name is Milky. Shit, we're going to have that W's. Oof, no, I was thinking going the other way. You just become Mickey, and we'll just <laughs> stick a mouse ears after your name. There it is, and our producer's coming right on time with the capital L in Sentinel and the quadruple, no, quintuple L in Milky, all nice and capitalized. Yes. And I lose my capital C and still have my swapped E and I. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it all goes. But they are starting to get the server booted up. It looks like they're in some kind of warm-up for the moment and just waiting to get everyone reconnected. Looks like we got all of the CTs up and four out of five Ts so far. Looks like they're getting another just free warm up couple of minutes getting dropped back in here. Or no wait, if we've got all five CTs, that should include drop and we're just waiting on the last wet member to join and there it is, five aside. And there's the server resetting everyone. Looks like the scores have been updated. And we're going to pick up with a 5v5. Frog able to hold those those couple of rounds without drop on CT side. This is with actually completely doable with uh, with drop as well. This is this because they were already winning. If drop can uh, just you know play well, this is actually really good for them. This is completely doable. I wonder yeah, if there is something into the fact that maybe Wet wasn't taking it, wasn't taking this half seriously enough because they thought that five v four was going to have them with an easy win, and now with drop back, they're going to play differently, or maybe they just maybe Frog has just rattled Wet and does, they've got the advantage here. Does Wet still have a player in spawn? Someone was still in spawn. Uh, yes. Cool guy. Cool guy. Um, oh, that's that really is cool interesting. Guy. That is actually super unfortunate for just how this has all happened, but I mean, for FRG, they are they are five alive right now, with call it two and a half bodies remaining. I for guess that was wet. on them for not calling the time out there if they knew that Cool Guy was gone. Plus, or I don't think it really would have wouldn't really have mattered. I mean, they got full armor and everything. The likelihood that Cool Guy was going to make much of a difference in this round. And there's the drop for the AFK player, two remaining. Or is that two remaining? No, one remaining. I'm seeing a, a an artifact on my screen. So one remaining, last alive down here in hell. We'll see if neither are clearing properly. All right. Interesting. Does we'll escape with his life. Here's a drop down the stairs. And there it is. Poutine with the, with the rifle to save the round. No big mistakes there. Does leave five alive. And that is big. There's the timeout by Wet. Hopefully getting cool guy back and and ready to go this round, especially since he seems to be holding the bomb. But yes, there he is. He buys the AK and looks like all of them are going to be back and ready and will be up and running once this timeout is over. 
Yeah, it's fortunate that it was a, just a Glock round there. Um, wasn't like cool guy really missed out on much, but, um, you know. Did you say it was fortunate or unfortunate? <laughs> it's, it, it's fortunate that it was just a Glock round. Okay, so I was going to say, uh, you're not supposed uh, to tell them you're rooting for Frog. Like, come on. <laughs> Can't say that. But this is now... Uh, I'm not fully sure, and we can bring up the the round lines right now, but I think this is at least four in a row for... Uh, no, okay, so yeah, there was that dropped round, round three, and they, they got unlucky there, but four out of the five rounds on the second half does bode well. Oh, some nice util damage coming in from that molly. FRG's got to be feeling up right now. FRG is taking an aggressive look red box if they don't clear him. They, they don't. The pick. He drops back. But with the smoke, can he make it away? No, he cannot. And gets caught with a smoke out. Or with a nade out. Some late util from heaven down into sight, trying to prep for his vent player. A picket ramp. The aggress out of mini. Timing missed on the CT player. Both missed the timing. Two in mini right now. The spray oh, the down spray. runs out of bullets. Fallen does get the frag and then is refragged right out. Some 1v1 on the broken ankles dropping down into hell as well. There's some damage that is unfortunate to take. Hell does tend to be a far drop for most people. I'm not surprised you get a few broken ankles there. Tees do have the advantage here. They get to choose where they're going. And Frog has to play around this, but this is, like every round in the second half, very important for Frog to to take as deliberate and thought-out actions as possible to make sure that they are putting their best foot forward. If Fort drops here and misses it, this is going to make noise, and it will let the CTs know exactly where it's going to be. He does get the silent drop and the plant down. Frog will have to clear, I think, B, just to make sure that it's not down there. Unless his teammates are pretty sure to tell him that it is A. Looks like he is going heaven. Yeah, there is a different bomb noise between B and A. Uh, personally, I'm not good enough to know the difference, but uh, maybe someone on the team made that call for him. It does look like they did, because he is out here, and at this point, he clearly knows what it is. Oh, this is unfortunate. They oh, saw him. He knows where he is now. Oh. And can't win the gunfight there. That is unfortunate. And that gives 12 to the T's. Six round was it, deficit. Was it Prodigy Toast that was playing the fake van where he got the T kills but he didn't notice the guy at the beginning? I don't know, but that must have been like a 4 3 stretch lull kind of thing because that was like it was so clear on the right side of his screen. It must have just been because it's, uh, his, he was in 4 3 stretch and he didn't see it on his. It could have been, but both players did miss that that lineup. The the T who aggressed out of Hut and the the rat vent player. Great pick here outside, just lining up. T's walking into it, doesn't get the second follow up. Is getting tagged through the wall. Has to back off there. Tries to line up the smoke spray down, doesn't quite get it, but T's do have secret right now. A kill from Poutine, onto Bort in the trophy, does control ramp still, so CT do have an idea. Oh. They don't know that they've made it down secret, walks out with a nade, and gets dropped instantly. Yeah. Now Poutine's going to have to run down. Not what you want right now, that's got to be deflating, these guys know that they got to come in here. Oh, they're taking Wet. an aggressive peek on ramp, there's no way he sees him. Oh. oh. They should should know he's refrag. here. Okay, that is a that is a great refrag by Von Neal. Three v one on this retake still, even though a couple of bad losses. Caught jumping up, but doesn't quite get the drop. Here's the single door come out and does get dropped. A little bit of an artifact here. Are they? Yeah, they're diffusing. I'm not seeing the diffuse kit wires go out. So that's round number one. Five more to bring this to OT for the FRG boys. 
Yeah, the dream is definitely real for him. It's gonna be tough. You got you're gonna have an eco round against them here, so hopefully they can pick this one up. It'd be heartbreaking to lose this going into map two to an eco. This just needs to be good disciplined play by CTs. You expect the T's to rush somewhere fast, to maybe throw some quick util out. They're gonna oh. rush down two missed op shots, but the AUG is able to frag one of them and pushes them back into trophy. So not too bad of a loss. Going to be totally disappointed with himself as that ramp player not getting any of those shots to land. Yeah, Toast is definitely beating himself up over that. That was an easy kill for sure, possibly too, and he just couldn't capitalize on that. He needs to make sure he keeps his head down. He is, he is going to be a dominant force keeping all of them together. Great kill on the, on the, the rotate behind, pressing them in. Isn't looking, but is able to pull that out against the the Glock. P250 just commits for a surprise kill, does do some good damage, good control, and Prodigy Toast will not let Fallen get any more out of that P250 and closes the round out. So for a live CT is good, that'll hold the money high, easily able to buy Von Heal here. Yeah, and the uh, T side should be able to pick up full utils on this buy here. Yeah, they're going to call attack timeout and uh, figure this out. This, I think, would even be a good time, even if you take this this time out as the CTs, you you are using this for your strategy as well, because this you expect to be a buy round. Well, I guess no. I guess that's not necessarily accurate. This could be a sort of mid-buy by the T's, depending on how they want to approach it with that round loss. They do have so many I rounds guess it, in hand. It depends how well they're tracking the money because the T's did have like five thousand dollars and if you are tracking the money pretty well you'll know it's a full buy but uh, i mean this is so hectic i doubt they know exactly how good the money is or not well they did face a bunch of glocks there i mean they must have an idea about what's coming up against them here right yeah i meant more like if they understand oh falling with uh, that early frag is money. important for this open that is now but a great kill secret on this sort of half aggression is he gonna clear red box does a get second. the quick pick does see the aggression off of mush marshmallow drops in t's do have an interesting control of outside and surrounding a right now trades out mini Another kill dropped outside Squeaky, and that initial entry kill by the T's does not look like it's going to materialize into a round win. Will he look to save? It's a bit lengthy of time. Looks like he's still pushing for a pick and to see if he can get this round win. Doesn't fully clear heaven, but does make it past. He's going to go for the aggressive take upstairs. Here's the reload. Oh, no. He's going to go for the knife. He's oh, going to go he for, the, for knife. the knife. He gets it still. He gets it, luckily, but is exposed, takes one bullet, and has to really reevaluate how he wants to peek this. And he's going to back out. Probably the smart decision to take here. But now CTs know exactly where he is, and we'll see if they decide to hunt, especially for an after time kill. <laughs> Toast with that, that cheeky little vent walk up very inaccurate standing there but does give him the advantage of going up or down on this end well you can look into heaven too without being in an angle that can be uh cleared that is a very good point and they do they do let the t's live probably the the smart decision to ensure that they retain all of their weapons the ak's they picked up that op don't need to lose any of that you can give up one ak you still probably don't expect this to be a full buy. You expect that hero AK to try to look for a pick. Maybe even a rush to sight and the, the AK hold for some kind of flank. Yeah, there's a couple Galils on wet side here. That opening pick is huge. I do believe they're on that triple or quad loss right now. So they are close to full, so this is probably a 2k buy then with that AK. Although it did sound like a MAC-10 was out there. 
No, actually, they're, uh, they only have one guy with a thousand. Everyone else is sub 1,000. One guy's got zero, another guy's got... Two, two guys have a hundred, so they're, they're actually scratching the bottom of the barrel to get this buy together. This if is 12. Full loss, the, if they're at full loss, they'll be around $3,000 next round. 3,000 is still minimal util coming into this, so this is a 12-9 round, right? We're at, we're at round 22. This is gonna be... If, T, if the T's can't pull this out, if Wet doesn't win this round, which would obviously end the game, they're going to be hard-pressed to have a solid buy. They'll have armor and AKs or armor and Galils if they want some util. But this 5v4, even with some damage on Frog, looks like Frog's going to have control and Wet's going to have to put together some kind of execute to really get onto one of these sites. Yeah, and FRG's giving them nothing, which is a smart play by them. One thing that is tough to see in Recruit, we all get antsy and we all try to take those peaks and right here. Oh, and he doesn't get punished. He has the right angle on Bort and Toast is able to extend that lead now to 5v3. The A-Rush. Okay, CTs are able to trade that kill out. Bomb Plant is denied, which will save that $300 for everyone on the team. Four alive is a great round. 12-10. Without the bomb plant, this will be yeah, a very is, broken buy. This or is probably going to be them buying down to 2k and then just trying to frag it out with deagles. I don't think. Actually, I'm looking right now, and I think they. No, they did go down to. to they did just eco. Yeah, I think the eco is the right choice here. 12-10 or 12-11 doesn't matter which round you play, but you'll have better money on that 12-11 round. Although it is a bit risky because that is that is the five six rounds that they that they needed to bring this up and that is the overtime play the dream is alive for this frog squad that has struggled a little bit of late in the in the regular season but is is clawing fighting and clawing their way back here down only two now up against the the eco of wet we'll see if they can get one of these entries to get control of this round but wet is playing slow and controlled trying to wait for the aggression of the frg team but they are holding steady toast does miss the shot outside but does molly red box safely yeah the one thing you don't want to do right now is uh frg is to be given up any any uh eco kills here giving a gun to them would be pretty crucial we do Looks see like a Mac 10 might here, be... a little bit of extra money. They might be leaning towards ramp here. Oh, he's backing off now. That squeaky player, though, he's he's just waiting. He's eager and ready to take this fight. He just needs to get something up with his teammates. But that, that smoke hut will take some of the wind out of their sails and so little time left. I don't know what They're just Wet's expecting to, go. They're just to do. Have to throw flashes and go. Yeah, Fallen's about to yeah. flash, they rush out a squeaky, don't clear anything. The AK on sight gets the double spray down, wow. does get the reload off on the head taps. They are able to get one eco kill out of that, but no rifle saved. Full dead, four alive. We are going to the 24th round of regulation MR12. This is it, playing four overtime. Does Frog bring this back, playing multiple rounds, 4v5 and right here to send it to overtime. Yeah, that was a clutch spray down by Kev there. Prodigy Toast for anyone who doesn't know Kev. The Toast Brothers. The Toast Bros, yep. Toast again holding this outside. Surprising, or for the first time in several rounds we have seen this outside smoke from the T's sort of denying Toast that long range look. Smart decision, probably should have been doing this a little bit sooner depending on how their buys have lined up. We have another aggressive CT play. Does he sneak past? He does sneak past that little gap, but all the way up to red box. He knows the opera's here. The opera does get the pick into garage. Does he clear? Oh, he doesn't, but the secret him. player does. Uh, now oh, T's, have, T's have a dominant control outside right now, aggressing this, into A, aggressing into B. Huge. They oh, cleared it, one. but they and don't two. get the kill. Poutine, Poutine is just too good with that. The There's Canadian a third player he doesn't man. know, but he bombs, he nades, and forces out the player. So that double changes this balance again. 2v2v2 
2v3 still. Bomb plane is going down front A, but f misses the button, gets off of it early. And there's one kill. Now it is a 1v3 clutch. They don't the see him coming up then, but he's already cleared, and oh, there it is. No. Hard fought. That Hard was fought a great match. game, though. They almost brought it back. There was just a. Uh, it was unfortunate that the guy secret saw him, but at the same time, I think if he was going to swing, we probably could have just hit deeper or, or just swung faster. That was. That's hindsight, really. Five consecutive that. rounds. And the fact um, that he still pushed that with the pressure of being at 11 12, like, that's. Honestly, that's pretty good. Like, the, he still went for the aggressive plays and tried to make space for the team. Dropping only three rounds in that second half, and again playing those at least beginning five or six rounds. I forget exactly when the when the map reset happened to bring drop in, but dropping three in that half is still an impressive showing by Frog. They will probably be disappointed that they lost this, especially their map pick. But they should be very proud of themselves and how that how that map went considering the struggles they had playing multiple T rounds without their fifth man. We'll see how they bring it back together in Vertigo, which will be our second map pick when we get back from this intermission in between these two rounds. For anyone interested, while we are waiting on these, I just pulled up the rest of our recruit matches since we're watching this one. One best of three has finished and UPS Upsetty Spaghetti's Spaghetti's recruit team did win 2-0 against the Nade Stack of Nan's recruit team. If I'm reading the score correctly on CSE's website, we had a 13-4 win for UPS on Inferno and a 13-4 win on Ancient. So a, a pretty dominant performance bringing back the reg the the regular season upset win of Nade Stack against UPS. Uh, UPS not showing any remorse if those score lines are uh, correct at 13-4, 13-4. Those are dominant plays. So I think we'll take a break here and we'll come back. We'll bring the stream back up live when we have that the match two on Vertigo set up and ready to go.
All right, and we are back for match two between Wet and Frog. We do have drops replacement. That is probably good based on internet connection wise. We have an aggressive peek from Poutine. Gets the information and is able to escape back up. So FRG is our CT, wet being our T. They're already out on a site peaking generator. The T's come up and good pick by the CTs. T2000 and USPs both being shown off here. Will Frog try to deny the plant? Looks like he's gonna wait it out. A double by Brian here. A triple, and the defuse is gonna start. Cool guy is hiding in smoke, is able to deny it. They go for the knife fight, and T's lose. That'll be solid money going into round two. Three That's alive my for boy, Frog. Brian. Let's go. <laughs> I heard Brian was going to drop 20 kills. I, I doubt he's listening to the stream anymore, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that, whether or not Sentinel is uh, telling us the truth or telling us tall tales. So I expect to see, uh, you know, that heavy buy out of CT's armor. It looks like a lot of MP9s. We do see an M4 here, and it looks like we're going to get a save out of the T's. No force, even though they got bombed down. This is Wet's pick, so we'll see how they approach this. It's, it looks like they're taking aggressive A ramp. They actually do have the force buy. We see three... Three A players for Frog. They get the early pick with the M4 on B Web. It's an interesting buy out of uh, Wet here. Looks like Triple Mac 10's alive and a Galil, I think. Yeah. They have all four of their players top ramp. They do have some information that no one's immediate side hall at yellow. They do swing with the MP9, but little information, no damage dealt. CTs have started to do that rotate. They're already down through Z-Box holding bottom ramp, but turning away for some reason. Here's the execute. Early flash onto the site. Looked like a little bit of lag there between the players, but that might just be our feed. Those Mac they do have four alive. The flanks come back in for the CTs. That FAMAS putting in work. Coming up side hall, clear bottom ramp, but doesn't clear side hall and dies to the MAC-10. This is now a difficult take back for the CTs. Pushed all the way up onto site, doesn't clear, does get the double. Runs around, running MP9, gets the head tap. Does he have the kit? It doesn't matter, he has plenty of time. Um, yeah, there was the 10 seconds, yeah, we're good. Should look to pick up some one of the rifles. Does he get the M4? I think he does. That was a triple at the end there. Or did he get all four with the MP9 at the end, which would be big money and definitely buys for the team. M4 on the ground. Looks like Von Neal will grab it. Toast keeping with the MP9. Maybe saving up for that all play on B. Early aggression for the T's. Late Molly out of the mid player, but he is able to back up and get out of there. Smokes down. We have three T's in mid. The spray through the smoke gets heavy damage onto one of the T's and then backs up to set up a better angle. Doing a real good job of not staying too long where he's not supposed to be. Von Neal is starting to aggress ramp. We get a double M4 kill. Out of Poutine, I think. Vania. Okay. And CTs have started to aggress down ramp. They are starting to take this fight. Ts do get one kill, leading back into mid. Yep, there's the dead body mid. Two, three A players still remain heavily A sided. T gets up, jump up, and gets the frag. Has B site, but doesn't know yet for certain. Does he stick with B or does he try to retake A for the double fake? But bomb is actually still bottom ramp. 
So he's probably looking just to get some frag. CT's doing a good job of holding their positions. Will the shadow give him away? No. No one seems to be close enough to peek. Catches the timing on headshot. Not yet. One top ramp. Not quite peeking. Brian holding. Fallen got passed on the timing. But he's making too many footsteps. Crane and dies to Brian at Crane. Sentinel, your boy is putting in, what, three, four kills now? I know my players. I know my potential. All right. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is you're favoring Brian. Not not either team. You're just favoring Brian. Whatever team is Brian is on is the team that wins. <laughs> We're getting a quick reconnection here. we got a timeout going on. So it seems like a little bit of technical issues. I, I know we're hearing all of this for the first time coming out of CS2 and, and Valve, but looks like the T's are taking their time out, just trying to figure out how they can hold that round better. That should have been, that was their full buy. Oh, and so this homie was dancing, hold up. He was default dancing. <laughs> yeah, we're just not getting replays on, on the B stream, sadly enough. But yes, there was a little dancing going on. <laughs> So with this, looks like we're going to have that full save, maybe a MAC-10 on the T's, and this should be a solid hold. Toast does upgrade to the AWP. We've got two AKs and two M4s on the CT side, and okay, so they're going with the 1A, 1B, or 1 mid, 1B, 3A, I can count, and it looks like their even CTs are going for that aggressive A ramp peak. Three T's standing spawn still towards top mid. A couple of as well. Yeah, the aggressive ramp peak doesn't get anywhere. There is the MAC-10. No information, no one really seen anywhere. We just had some smoke spray. Some early rotates without seeing any aggression to rebalance the sights. CT still holding top of B stairs, high mid, but they've given up most of the heavy A ramp control and have fallen back more into a default. Looks like Toast just boosted either Headshot or Heaven, probably Headshot. There's a bit of footstep noise. T's are strong holding sandbags, don't want to get caught on that lurk peak. But CTs, CTs are can't holding. Make any mistakes. The, they lose this, they're down to zero on the money. Yeah, CTs are doing a really good job of not taking aggressive peaks. Ts do swing out, but the smoke will be enough. And you know, trying to feel your way through that smoke can hurt. And there's three opening kills. The fourth walks out. And that should be a clean round. Assuming they don't slip up here. The flash does get aggressive with the spray, but the Deagle can't find its mark. Deagle swings out, does get a little damage down, and is dropped through yellow. CTs do hold. This is a good showing so far to open this map too. Frog does have the debatably stronger side on CT starting on Vertigo, but they'll need to put this up, especially on Wet's map pick. Weird thing is, is they're not doing the A rushes. It's so easy to just throw those... Two smokes, flash over twice on side hall, and just take A side with those two smokes. Like, what are the T CTs gonna do? Rush through with no info? Like, it seems like uh, they're just. The wet's playing a little too slow. Maybe wet is just. Oh, Toast is seeing this. He sees the toes. He's waiting, and he just flicks off him to the right. But no aggression out of the T's, even on what should be a full buy. All right, and FRG does back up, holds more of a, a default hold, gets less aggressive. This seems to be working for them, though. They they take these aggressive swings. Last round, they were A ramp. This round, we had toast top of B. They, they either get a little bit of information or no contact at all and sort of reset back into this default and are just holding sights and holding strong, and they're avoiding the 
the aggressive peaks. We have a little bit of util dropping down on B. We have the T's throwing a molly for default for, for headshot camp for the opper. They're sort of splitting into this mid and B take, maybe looking to get control of stairs and jump up. Some extra util coming up, but white box is being held. Smokes for Jenny, but T still haven't come up. Here's the footsteps for the white box player. We have a possible contact here. B Web does get the double entry onto B. Can he get the triple for the Jenny player? Does get it, even though two of his teammates are dropped. CT is here. He doesn't know to clear it. And he's dropped for his troubles. T is going to try to stick this plant. He does get it off. There's a footstep coming on jump up. That's the off shot. Misses its mark, but he's stuck in the middle. He is a pickle and is going to struggle to win this round, but is in smoke. Does he tr dare stick this? Neither are peeking him. He does back off with no tap on the bomb. Not looking for him. Does get the initial trade. Has a re-smoke. Has a kit. Toast is really going to have to get lucky with that shot. Doesn't take it and does aggress and catches him walking out of smoke. Oh, no, that was Penguins. I could not see the name on that one. Yeah, I also am on the wrong the team. team. Yeah, yep. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh, I get I get distracted seeing that same op skin show up, and uh, I'm not paying attention to the names there. Good win for the T's on that one. Solid hold. We're getting sort of a uh, weird half buy out of here. I do see mostly rifles, but I saw an MP9 on at least one of the CTs. They get flashed and back off. Just one CT. Yeah, just one CT. Looks like Prodigy Toast has the MP9, but we'll probably upgrade with that kill. They don't clear side hall. Oh, this is where the A1S is going to struggle, but does get two. And then is dropped for his trouble. That is bomb on the opper. And falls back out. CTs have taken a little bit more space. Penguins isn't going anywhere. He's just holding bottom ramp. I'm not sure what he's expecting. Maybe expecting to hear that rotate out of the top. CTs are starting to look. They're starting to try to get that information. He is very lit, though, so this would be difficult without getting some advantage on these swings. If he swings and doesn't see him, he'll be in trouble, but does get away. No immediate hunt. Oh, he's not going to see this player right up here. He's going to get dropped. And bringing that off back this time for Toast will be will be very useful. Save some money on that end. Yeah, this is a great CT side for um, FRG here. Looking very strong, honestly. They're giving up very little information. Peeking for the right things. It's, uh, it's looking good. Looks like Toast is going to go for probably that aggressive A ramp peek again. They're starting to like that. Couldn't quite catch the stats, which distracted. But no presence bottom ramp. Looks like we're really not getting this aggressive wet that we've seen in the past. They're playing very slow. Some of the three of them are on pistols, and only two of them have MAC tins, but only one of them with the MAC tin has armor, so that's a really weird one. Um, <clears throat> Brian has 140 ADR as well. Very, uh, he's popping off. Yep, nine and three. He's almost halfway to your mark, six rounds in. Yeah, that one that one drop round definitely seems like an anomaly for FRG. And they are they have this great balance right now of taking map control but not taking too much. Not biting off more than they can chew, and they're just holding these strong angles. Here's an interesting boost into mid just as wet starts to aggress out of this smoke. Will they even think to clear top of box so late into the round? Four of them have started to come up. They're getting their own boost. Penguins is swinging out. Fort B-Web is dropped from jump up. They don't clear it, but do get the kill. Toast dropping. And another one coming up. 
Toast still holding this strong angle from Elevator. Jump Up is pushed back, but the Molly stops any more aggression from the T's. Looks like there's a flank from the CT speeding up. The op misses its shot, but they don't push him. But the jump up player has fallen back and does get the kill and catches the T push from or the, the A push from Elevator of Fallen. And not the cleanest round we've seen out of FRG there, even on that that kind of in between half buy and save. But still, solid round. They'll take the win. They'll take the six one advantage. Does also secure that if they do lose the next round, they will be able to buy again. The eco is looking pretty okay on CT at the moment. And this round, whatever you know, whatever's going on in Toast's brain, no aggressive a may no aggressive a ramp peak, and that is when there would have been a couple of players down there fallen with the pick uh, upstairs. But then no extra aggression. CTs have now split two and two. Does get the off. Another pick by the T's. B Web on Vanille. Extra noise, but some util coming out. A main now. Let's see if they try to get this plant off. Not a perfect smoke if they don't have the second one to follow up with it. But there is that nade and elevator. That's going to do some big damage there. Two good kills for the CTs, though. This is definitely back and forth this round. Not quite sure who's got the advantage. Depends if he clears this left side, B-Web. Does it, Brian? How long is he going to wait for this kill? Takes a couple of shots, but isn't punished for the delay. Bomb still in T-spawn. This might be... A lost round for the T's? Are they going to take this late aggression? They still have someone up mid, but no real sight control. Got some util coming out of their pockets now. The elevator swing traded with the jump up player that dropped back. Good double to end the round. Three alive. Still good. Definitely have enough money coming up to buy the team. They should have full util CTs. They are in a dominant position here, full control of this half. And they need to be aware that even though they have this dominant control, Wet will have second half CT where they can do the exact same thing to Wet can do the exact same thing to Frog that Frog did to Wet on that on Nuke. So I think if they if Frog's A exec is much better than Wet's, this could probably just be a clean sweep. This fast B rush does look promising. They get the pick on there. They've got two generator players. Not looking for the kills. Toast gets the drop. Two drops from the T's. They have sight control now. They're going to have some better guns. This flank from behind is already looked for. Yes. They're starting to come back. Is he going to walk out Grace Green to get picked? No, the construction player does get the kill. Bort will pick up that AK for his trouble. CTs look like they're going to save this round and give up only the second round this half. Not the worst thing in the world, but this 1v4 is probably not the best thing to aggress into. Bort is getting aggressive. Will he get punished for his trouble? Yes, he will. Probably an unnecessary peek by Bort there with how broke they are. Getting out safe somewhere with your teammates would probably been better than aggressive to try and hunt for this kill. But are we going to get another hunt situation? No, looks like the timing's not going to line up. I think that's the first round uh, of this game where we've seen Wet take that W key um, playstyle that they're known for, and and I mean it worked out for them perfectly well. So I'm not sure why they're. It seems like they're playing super slow, and honestly, when it comes down to the last few seconds, it seems like they they have troubles figuring out what they actually wanted to do in the first place. W is for Wet, and yeah, they that worked out for them surprisingly well. I I don't think Frog was ready for it at all that round. I really do believe if they would just throw those two A smokes and flashes, they would probably get like five rounds here. Poutine with the kill, Fallen with the refrag. So that's one early pick B. I think maybe Wet is running into an issue where they're they're either not having a solid call at the start of the round, or they're struggling to adapt to what Frog is showing them. Maybe Frog is showing them 
some new new looks that they weren't ready for. B is open. The T's are starting to poke it. Let's see if they get anything. Another kill on penguins. But they're still not aggressing onto site. Wet is playing this so passively that Toast has all the time in the world. Rotates back around. Now holding jump up for B site. But Wet still isn't even aggressing onto the site. They're just standing at the top of B stairs. I don't know what they're waiting for. I don't know what they're expecting uh, to happen. I don't know if they're just waiting for aggressive peaks from from Frog, but in this scenario, like they're just clearing, they're clearing areas of the map. They're just gonna know exactly where they're at. Good flash that does get Toast pushed off and misses two shots. The double swing will trade him out, or will get the the frag. Another frag onto site. Bort with a good kill. This now turned into an impressive round. They just needed to do this about. 10 seconds earlier because now the CTs are already ready to rotate behind. They get the frag. The bomb is down, which is the good thing you can say about this right now, but T's are not in a strong post-plant position. They have white box. The CTs have you till they do get that good frag there, and they are able to close out the round, but that was shakier than it probably should have I feel looked. like that was more like Frog gave them the round than that was a good round from Wet. That was... They just... I'm yeah. not sure what the plan is. I don't it was know interesting. Like, just talking stuff over, and they were just using the round time for it. <laughs> they they Wet. waited such a long time to go in, and it, it allowed uh, Frog to basically gain a ton of map control and a lot of information, and yeah, the flank ended up coming in super quick. It's fortunate that they were able to defend it, but... Yeah, Wet, Wet looks like they are lost and, and unsure of what to do effectively that their W keys don't exist, and Frog is just running into this. They can get some early picks here. Wet isn't ready for the aggression. And again, on the flank behind, they catch stairs. That's two kills so far. That's a third. If this Frog wins eco. this eco, this is going to break what little spirit of Wet's might still be there. This is with P250s and a 5.7. Like, this was... This wasn't even an anti-eco. This was just a straight rush that Wet was just... Wet is asleep at the wheel right now. I think there's no better way to put it. They are... Uh, Brian actually is trying to get that AK, <laughs> which is funny. Oh, no, he let Toast out. Yep, he's just calling it out, letting, letting the IGL have that, letting him have the good weapon. Uh, this re-aggress without clearing sights. Trades one out. Penguins has bomb and off. Gets a good no-scope. But he's going to have to clear everything. That fall off of jump up gives the sound cue. And he knows he's he is the pickle. Looks like he's going to try to get this bomb plant down. Exposed if ramp player comes up fast enough. Does see him and gets the kill. Bomb plant goes down. That was a Op will get picked up. Definitely probably should have just planted in the smoke. He had no idea where they were at. Yeah. Although we knew that there was one CT player that was slowly coming around. Taking that smoke plant is a lot safer and maybe lets him live. Maybe lets him get to a post plant position. But this is a 9-8-3 half right now. And looking like it could easily go 9-3, which would be a very, very dominant way to end this half. And I've been saying that a lot because we've seen two opening halves of these matches that have been what appear to be utter dominations that should lead into easy map victories. But as we saw on Nuke, nothing is set in stone. Brought back to an 13-11. And that was with Frog down a man for maybe half a dozen rounds in that last match. And Brian is either invigorating them or Frog just knew that they could beat this wet team because of how they showed that second half. Great entry. I will say Brian's at 15 kills. He's actually off. He definitely has. Nothing to say against drop, but when your internet's down, there's, there's not much you can do, and it's not your fault. Interesting boost does get the pick. Penguins, nice shot there. Good reactions. They're smoking off for an, an A execute here, but they've got a player... 
still B stairs. Looks like maybe they're gonna push for this B crunch. They do get the entry, there is still CT players, but gives away his position, swings wide into the opera who's holding the angle for a live on B. Frog just lost every fight they they needed to win there, and this is about to be an 8-4 end to the half that looked like it was going to be a worse scoreline for Wet, but yeah, they, they clutched out, 8-4 half. Not great stat lines from the Wet team, but they held it together, winning three of those last four rounds. That That'll give some wind in their sails starting this half and hopefully winning this pistol round for them. If not, they're gonna be they're gonna be hurting, especially as the CT entering in. Looks like Frog is gonna waste no time and goes right for an A an A rush based on where they were going. There is Util down, surprising amount of Util for this opening. Smoke entry, good initial pick. Some doolies are rushing on to site. They get past the USP. Gets the head tap. Two more drops for the keys. Bomb plant going down. The rotate is dropped. Von Neal on Fallen. Only some doolies left in the elevator. Pushing out onto smoke. This 1v4 will be very difficult to achieve. Someone's already behind you. Does he clear him? Headshot. He doesn't. Neither see each other. And there it is. Waited a little bit of time. Wanted to make it an interesting, that was an interesting really, little look. Really, really decent. I mean... I mean, they threw the smokes, like I was saying, for when I was talking about wet, I said, just throw the smokes, <laughs> and you win, <laughs> like, well, not all the time, but you know what I'm saying, like, that, they're already showing, like, they're pro I would imagine they probably have, like, a full AX, like, this is looking really good for Frog already. Dare we speak early, but this looks like Frog is ready to push to map three, and we're gonna see a mirage here. They still, they can't, they can't get too cocky, they're still gonna need to take it, but this is an aggressive SMG rush. Khalil gets the opening kill. They already have a site. The USP does good damage, but can't finish the kill out of elevator. Bomb is planting. There's a rotate in behind up ramp. One CT elevator player. The ramp player does get the pick with the USP, but the MAC-10 follows up, which 600 is better than three, even though you get that USP kill. And that, that molly is going to stretch and push him out of headshot. And cannot get any more damage. I, out I will of it. say they're forgetting to throw that right side smoke. And if somebody gets an op and they're holding A, that is going to actually probably lose them around if they don't start throwing that like from the ramp side instead of throwing because they're throwing the the they're throwing a smoke towards like heaven late or like towards headshot. That's probably going to get them killed in a gun round. CT should have that gun round right here, depending on how the T's execute. They are getting a few bonus guns out of those SMGs. I saw Prodigy Toast take one to not have to buy. Looks like Wet is stacking A. They are going to swing for an early peak side hog, get no information. They do take it. There is one. There's two T's waiting down here that are just straight peaking. The flash goes out. Can't get the kill. This is just summing up Wet's game right now. Frog is... Except for a couple of rounds, Frog is winning the gunfights in those 1v1 peaks. No tradable opportunity there for Wet. Didn't know there was two down there. Not a great peak. And Wet is going to re-aggress down ramp. We have possibly some B interaction. Brian is all the way up to useless. Prodigy Toast goes to look, but then falls back. Thinks better of it. Here's the, C the CT player running away. If he waits, he will get the spray down and does. Swings again, but bomb is already gone. B is now controlled by the terrorist. But generator peak, not ready for it. Gets the drop. And that is a clean answer to that, that initial failed entry down uh, A ramp in side hall. Not quite punished in the way that we were talking about there, but does yeah. cause frog to take the time out here and have to get a better plan than just w key forward up ramp they do actually have the money they could probably just force by here uh, some of them have up to six thousand dollars i think it's probably better they just force and then <clears throat> force and get their money back in sync uh i i, I don't think it's 
too much to worry about now. They can easily just speed it up again and probably win. Okay, we are starting to see some buys. I'm seeing some util on the T's. Some upgraded pistols, or they're passing one around. One primary? It says they're just going for a hero Galil and they're saving the rest. So yeah, maybe they're just trying to get that money back in sync. That is an interesting setup. They've got most of their util... No, they've their got two people they with got, util they got, now. They got rounds to spare, so they might as well just buy down to 2k, see if they can win get a couple of by rifles, chance. Maybe on then, some yeah. aggression. Yeah. I mean, Wet is showing that they're willing to aggress. Surprisingly not willing to aggress on T side, but yeah, they're already at, at top B. They're taking stairs. Not advancing too far. They're, they're, their aggression is still smartly placed. They're not getting... They're not taking too far, just like Frog was in their success. Is he gonna pop the smoke? Brian is just holding, waiting. Waiting to hear a, a pin pull or a reload, maybe? Two players here in a crossfire, Brian and someone, I can't quite tell. And Brian does get the deeg shot. Great oh, lineup, man. that is an important entry. The AUG gets one, can't get the follow up. Brian with two deagle kills. Hey, that's already uh, gonna be worth. If they get one more, it's more than worth. Especially if they can get the AUG. The MP9 does find a kill, Now they have too. the bomb plan. The bomb plan's gonna give them money across the board as well. Two alive they... for Wet, and they have fallen apart in this round. That should have been fairly easy, but... Again, you lose those initial peaks, and they, they stack. The AUG finds another kill on the rotate. One CT left alive with very little health and will and that, die. And that was a save for the most part. That's... That is going to be devastating. That was your hero, Galil, and, an, and a deagle. And dare I say it, Brian was the deciding factor in that one. The initial deagle peak, the trade on the auger playing on stairs, who was in the open, knew about the one deagler, but was still caught in the double, double terrorist that bottom B stairs, not ready for it. And now we get this aggression out of Frog already up to stairs. Wet doesn't seem to be ready for it. They don't have anyone heavy on B. They're they on a went, light buy, they, uh, I think. They have uh, four spy, and then I guess the IGL told them to save instead, and so they were stuck in spot, so they were a little bit behind. And now there's two drops on B. Op shot in what was probably mid. They now have full B control, not getting caught with that molly out this time. CZ coming down ramp. Here's the here's the footsteps over great. Picks up the MP9. Will he aggress out of this? He will. He catches Z Box for 90 something damage, 93, and just couldn't get finish the kill off. And now we are in match point. I would There's... be. I would be shocked if they somehow made it back. <laughs> this is all a large round gap, and this, unlike Nuke, where it's hellless, like I would say Nuke is probably more CT sided for recruits than Vertigo is. I think it really depends on how you play it. You can definitely have some strong T sides, and you can have some strong CT sides. It this seems this like... looked like Frog just being the dominant team, the stronger team. It didn't matter what side they were on. Flying off of A side into Bort. Bort does find that kill on Prodigy Toast. Von Neal dropped. Poutine dropped. Not sure what Frog's plan was there. Can't get the pick on either player. Poutine does drop one, actually. And. CTs will pick up this round. That was super aggressive out of Frog, especially yeah. jumping. That would have actually probably went in their favor if they did throw that right side smoke and also sent two up side hole. They just sent everybody ramp and they just got fast flanked. I think the CT's yep. kind of W key. And then I think that was Prodigy Toast jumping off of A site into side hall and just dropped that that flub of a kill on Bort, because Bort was not going to lose that fight. It looks like we 
got disconnected from the server, which may mean that the match ended. And based on and that, that scoreline, I would imply assume that Frog won. <laughs> frog won about 13 to... By the way, four, uh, Brian ended that. that with at least 24 kills, so I was right. Sentinel does win win the prize of calling that the sub comes in and drops over 20. So whoever had that on their bingo card, Sentinel got one correct. Yeah, that was a dominant game by Frog, and it's interesting because it was Wet's pick. Both of those were surprising rounds. Whether Whether Frog thought they had some secret sauce on Nuke, and that didn't show up or didn't work out with drops internet and playing down 4v5 and then leading into what should have what was mist's pick and a map that they have been very strong on don't know if they didn't quite get their their game played if they were lost if they were confused there was a number of rounds where there was some confusion they were stuck in spawn or they didn't have a good mid round plan and and they just got caught and second half didn't change any of that. Dominant performance by Frog. We will head to Mirage for the decider. And uh, anyone watching this stream definitely picked the right one to watch. Out of all of the recruit playoff games, we have the only one going to a map three decider. And overall, we have the most rounds played even through even through two. Sentinel wins another point for predicting this map, this matchup to be the best of the day. We will take another quick break here before we bring you the rubber match, the decider map three on Mirage between Tadpole Titans and Mist.
And we're back. We're just waiting on the last couple of players to connect. We are once again on Mirage for our rubber match between Wet's Mist and FRG's Tadpole Titans. We had both map picks go against the map voter. Frog picked Nuke to open and lost a close one that they that they brought back, made tight, and Wet uh seemingly played a, a their worst vertigo of the season and lost 13 5 on their pick of vertigo so we're on the rubber match deciding on mirage how do you guys think this match is gonna go yeah it's gonna be frog all the way you got brian you got kev you got jeff this is unlosable Please so besides do not make me regret that frog so besides arbitrary names, Brian Toast and Prodigy Toast, all dominant showings in the Vertigo match, you think they're going to take this fairly easily? Yeah. I don't think it. I, I I think it'll be like a realist thinking like an eight thirteen ish in the way of Frog. Milky, you got a yeah. You got some I got... thoughts on this one. Yeah, I got Frog, and uh, it's not going to be over 20 total rounds. It's going to be 13-7 uh, max for Frog here. Okay, so we have two votes for Frog. They are coming off the win. That does give them, you know, the hot proverbial hand in the sports world. Uh, and I, I think Wet can bring this one back. It'll definitely be interesting. Neither have played. We do have our opening round here. We have some initial spread by the T's. They now have mid control. They molly the window. They get the initial entry onto A. But the nest player comes into jungle, gets the double, slows down the assault. Coming out of a gray screen does get the kill because of the flash distracting the player on triple. CT does he swing. T swings into him. Gets the damage, drops some CT, and this 2v1 bomb will go down. A pretty strong round for the terrorists, and they will secure it with two alive. Other than the stream smudging a little bit, I do believe that that is Frog opening on the terrorist side. Yes, I can see that now with the names. So that is a good opening for both of your picks to take this whole round. Looks like we're going to have that classic MAC-10 armor. They have the wind, they have the bomb plant, they have all that extra money. They're going to rush this right out of apartments and I'm come into meeting two head-on. I'm surprised the CTs are buying. I mean, forcing, they can, they can meet some short angles. I think that could work out. I would have expected more of a... Um, a stack if they were going to force against this with bomb plant and with the wind, but a good spray down through smoke to deny bomb does put the T's in an interesting spot. The deagle spray out of market, but can't find the second one too alive again. But that was the force of wet. They will struggle to have money here. I expect a full save here. Fallen grabs an upgraded pistol. I heard another upgraded pistol come out of what sounds like B web. Dooley's and a 5.7. Now here's the stack B. Maybe this would have been better last round. Also, hindsight being 2020. Does look that they like they are leaning B though, so this is, could go out in their favor. It depends if Frog can pick up on the fact that they've got no contact B. They've got no contact mid, and they've seen no util A. They have to think this is a stack, either A or B. If Wet gets a little aggressive here and gets this initial pick with the with B-Web's dualies up on Cat, that could be big. But it looks like he's just going to hold this sort of odd angle. Penguin's also there with dualies. They're trying to figure out what they want to do. Frog isn't giving them anything. They know that they're in ladder room. They have a high apps play with a P250. That can catch an unexpected head off. There is the swing mid. They do get the dually kill. That's one AK down. Second AK swings, but the trade is not there. I believe that is Brian getting a double. The P250 hiding does not get the kill. The Zeus is spotted out by the apps player. And 
those those dually buys only good for that one AK. Yeah, Brian actually picked up three there, I think, right after he looked up into apps and tapped another guy as well. Even better for him. Sentinel, are we gonna see another another twenty bomb out of your boy? Of course we are. It's Brian. It's not even a question. It's how many how fast does the twenty bomb come? <laughs> it's not a question of how many, it's a question of when. So we do see an op buy, because we should expect full buys out of this CT team. A couple of op sprays through what should be smoke, find nothing. An aggressive cat play, but the smoke off from the T's brings us to an interesting stalemate. It all depends on who will walk out first or who gets this early pick. A lot of aggressive util coming from the CT. Regress the boost up to mid, catches the opera in window. Another AK tap. Drop on B that should be because there's only one player B now. That leaves one B, two A. The T's just have to decide which bomb site they want to attack. It should be B on that pick with the window kill. They're clearing all of their angles they need to, but they're not aware of bench player, but they do not get punished for it. That A1S not really getting, not really getting that stopping power. Good kill, jungle. We'll see if he can turn this into another one. It is a 2v4 retake. Oh, he's walking out murder hole and doesn't get punished for it, does get the drop. The op does find its mark on Cat. Still aggressing for more kills here. Definitely questionable considering they should be out of money should he die here. And Von Eel with the Kobe cleans up that round. Three alive, saves the op. Two AKs. Good round for Frog. This is looking good for Frog. This is looking good for Frog. They get five. Uh, you want more, but if they get five, this is looking really good for them on CT side. And a weird half buy coming out of the CTs on this. MP9s, I think Fallen was late on his buy. I didn't see him have anything but a good, awkward angle for a good CT pick. Reaggressing mid isn't punished for it, and the MP9 does finally his head in apps, but not properly clearing Palace. Will get swung out by that AK. Bad timing. Bad timing. Yeah, that's bad timing on an aggression that could have worked out really well. Cat player is still alive with that fam ass. He hasn't hasn't peeked out too far and is making them is punishing them for for not getting rid of him. That is great, great double right there on cat. That is forcing Frog to reevaluate how they want to approach these sites. We have an XM sitting in con just waiting for information. Looking to see if there's anyone underpass. Not going to find anyone yet. Will he try to aggress up mid with his teammate watching from window? Wet is doing a good job of not aggressing too far after getting getting that pick. Getting picked by the aggressive A main take. We'll see what happens here. Looks like Wet's trying to sniff out this B aggression. There is a couple of T's coming up. There was that audible foot noise. The flash does get up to second window, but they're not going to clear the MP9. Drops the first one. Can't get the second. The AK is good for at least one. He is not in the best space here. He's got to get bomb. Got to get on the site. The FAMAS is going to swing him. He is able to trick out. AK better gun. And the MP9, best gun overall. Bort will drop toast and deny the plan. That is an important win for wet right there they are able to still full buy on a t side so this is not going to change too much they would need to win another one in succession to break uh the tier the t's money saving um, only two guns will make that full buy here difficult for wet but they look like they do manage to have it with a reasonable amount of util Are we yet yeah, we are in a timeout as I just bothered to read the top of the screen. Yeah, it's definitely I think... doable about a utility, but uh, they'd like to have more, that's for sure. I mean, they only got one flashbang on Fallen, no util on Penguins. 
Fallen actually, and actually dropping only 39 more. total damage so far. No kills. That is going to be a big reason why Wet is struggling here. They're, they're only with one here, but they can... They can bring this around. Fallen will have to find his line. And Brian, the sub, overall has 156 ADR, eclipsing the 152 by Bort right now. And that 152, as good as it might look for Bort, is only as good as the rounds you've picked up. A super aggressive play CT here. And, and Toast thought better of this aggression and has backed away. Those two AKs taking an aggressive line. CT's playing aggressive everywhere. Not clearing angles by the T's. They fall out of Palace and have three on A side already. They should get bombed out here. Looks like they're going to set the plant up. But the Molly's in there trying to deny the plant. Plant does go down, but all the three kills on those A side players falling, getting that Molly kill. That'll help his A star. And great kill onto Firebox. Fallen over here, picking up the op for his teammate. And getting that AK-3 alive. This should break Frog's economy. And set up for a third round of Wets. Bringing this from a 4-0 start to what I would expect in this next round to be a 4-3. Bort dropping that AK off for one of his teammates to swap onto the M4A1. But I guess when you've got over 150 ADR, it doesn't really matter what weapon you're using at that point. It's clearly working for him. It's actually uh, Penguins rocking the uh, 171 ADR. Oh, it was penguins. All right, I missed. Yeah, yeah. I missed that. Reading is not my strong suit today. What <laughs> else is new? But uh, yeah, Brian's rocking 136. I think the big difference there is that you've got Von Elves got 95, Poutine's got 83, while the next two highest guys on wet side there are 72 and 68, right? Um, obviously, still early in the round, so those numbers get moved around a lot based on a good round or not, right? I think that was a great decision to bring it back to the start of that round, start of that last round, that, that timeout taken by Wet. A, a lot of teams would, would after that, that win, just play it ready, right? They're like ready to go, itching to get back into that match. I think that, that timeout brings them back, settles them back in after that one round win, and turns into a solid second one. Right here, you're, you're getting the benefit of the T's not feeling stable. But getting that initial run out, the, the rush out of the T's, not able to clear everything, dropping so many, but the Tech-9 does come in to clear under Palace because the reload wasn't properly timed, and now this is a solid hold from Frog. They're in good post-plant positions. Doesn't catch the timing on Cool Guy, who does trade out Toast, I believe. And now CTs are now dominant, but this scope shots your scope's gonna be hurt, but neither can get the kill. The 5-7 does come in. Last one in the smoke. What can he do? Can't find another kill, and that is just unfortunate. That should have been a kill in the up. Brian should have got the refrag. Oof. Penguins got very lucky on scoping in at the wrong time and then moving, but then not able to be to be killed on that follow up. Then finding the five seven kill, that that is a disappointing end for Frog on a round that they probably didn't expect to win. They got the bomb plant, and that's probably all they were looking for. But once you get in that round and it's three v three and you've got guns and the sight, you kind of expect more out of that fast peek out of to Toast does get the pick mid doors looked like he might have been flashed by his teammate there but a kill's a kill oh this high connector player isn't going to be seen and does catch just a glimpse and gets the kill on cat so we're reset back to a 4v4 looking for a little bit of information in app spraying through that wall shooting at his teammate jumping jump spotting don't quite know what that was. Maybe a miscommunication. Shouldn't really give away any extra information. But the jump spot is seen by the apps players. Fallen does tag some damage through that permeable wall. Trading sprays back and forth. Does know that he's shifted over, but can't find his head. 
That M4 wouldn't wouldn't get the one tap through there, but he's already tapped a couple of times. Could find it. Prodigy Toast sitting under window, maybe looking for that boost. Threw a molly. What might have been cat did not look like it was going window. Now he's up top con. Will he clear? Does he hear the footsteps? No, but the jungle player is getting suspicious. Now the jungle player and palace have made contact. Jungle wins that. Toast with an aggressive swing with the offer. Oh, Prodigy Toast doesn't see him. And here's all these footsteps. Firebox. Good trade between that. Toast looking to clear the CT player. Doesn't know that the Firebox player is there and is traded out. This is looking like a 4 to 4 round. I doubt the T's try to fight for this. What? Oh, that missed... Tr don't even know what he's going for at this point. I think just wanted the op. Oh, no. Can't hit the jump. Oh, no. <laughs> that has got to be embarrassing, bro. Who yeah, was that? That's I need gotta somebody be, to That was Poutine. That oh, is unfortunate. Poutine. Yeah, I think no. at first you think he was just trying to get the op. Oh, oh he needs to go to a B-hop server or something. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Hit the KZ, my guy. He probably was just looking uh, to get that op. Luckily, with all those jumps, CTs weren't looking for the the hunt, because that would have been a real disappointing end to that round. But this aggressive B take is about to get denied by this Molly. One makes it out of it, both two rush after it, three are on the site, and all are traded out. Not really what you're hoping for out of that eco that was rushing into his stack. Does hear the damage ping on that M4 spray from the wall, but doesn't quite doesn't quite follow it up. Looked like about half health left on Brian. This CT flank is going to be big. He walks this hallway. They're not checking it. Clears all of his corners like a good player. Sees him. Lines up the shots. Take it. And does get both. Made that a little tight. Probably got a little nervous on those shots there. And Wet is looking strong. After dropping those initial four, they have they have come with a vengeance again. I think it would be good if, uh, if the T's would do an actual exec. They're kind of just running out. I don't know if they just don't know smokes for the map. This feels like a map that so many people, you know, pug. As we say, it's a it's a puggy map that I'd expect them. Here we go. Now they're getting their lineups. Now we're going to see this A execute. And it looks like it is going to be a true execute. They're going to drop these slopes. Flashes out. Does clear the initial corner. Gets caught out. Clears top outside of Palace. Looks like this regress out of the jungle player. Holds off. Gets jumped by the guy. Stares. Neither can find the kill. Spraying through smoke on top of his head. Sprays the Tech-9, can't find anybody. Does eventually find one with the Tech-9, but is immediately traded out. And one CT coming up from CT spawn. One other Tetris is pushed out by the Molly. CTs look like they're going to fight over this. They should have kits. Molly into Sandwich does push the guy out. Nade and kills. Wet retakes the site. Pretty impressively, they get a smoke on to bomb, has to do with the diffuser and the guy peeking him from Tetris and cannot. Wet loses sight early on a solid execute that by Should Pope. have been a frog round. That was there were mistakes made there for sure. That was um that was unfortunate. Yeah, that's a couple rounds from Frog that uh, they probably should have had secured, and uh, I don't know if they got too anxious for kills or what, but the, that's two that they've uh, kind of thrown away now. I am surprised they that Frog is not taking the time out here to reorganize and figure out a strategy. When your exec doesn't work, your rush doesn't work, you need to come up with some kind of strategy here. Wet is, also... is playing super aggressive again. I don't know if you guys noticed last round, but uh, Bort actually threw his Tech 9. I think it was over to Penguins. And uh, Bort played that round without a pistol. I did see that. I did not know that he didn't pick up one, but that that is impressive. That is that is Bort leading his team from the front, no fear. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it worked out for him. I think Penguins actually ended up getting a kill with the Tech 9. but He... I don't know. 
That would be interesting, though. But no presence A by the CTs. Just a late look. T's have now taken mid and underpass, I believe. Yes, they now have bottom con. T's are now aggressing into jungle. Will T's be caught on the timing? Does get a solid kill through the, the window great metal pop, whatever that's called now. Permeable in CS2, so you can shoot through it without popping it, but does get popped on that initial shot from the the T's jungle peak. They just need and to group up. They're, this is easily winnable if they just group up. It looks like they're just going to walk in one by one, though. It's, it's a bit scary. Well, they still have... They still have... What is this? Top connector control. They know one player is ladder room. T's should have this, but it went from three alive to just 2v2. Oh, okay. I didn't see the get jungle. That actually... Yeah, they probably just win this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Wet is, Wet is having these retakes. They're working well together. This murder hole peak is bad and is punished for it. That is just such a rough one when someone knows that, that you guys have been peeking there. Catches a glimpse top con. Gets the kill. I don't expect him to go for this, but uh, he is going up for it. Brian Maybe he's just looking for the kill. Just held an angle there. That was bad. Yeah, standing exposed top con. He's running out. He doesn't have a lot of health and just runs into the bullets. I don't quite know what the CTs were expecting there. I expected that to be a save. That low of health, not knowing that where was, the final um, player is. Actually, just good timing. Uh, I don't really remember who it was, but one of those CT players, they just went through ramp immediately on A, wrapped all the way around, and uh, then they tried to stack B because they just assumed it was B, but they got mistimed on uh, the pal uh, the uh, connector players. And just... Yeah. Hell? <laughs> We're getting this fast execute run out. Traded out again. Vaughn Neal does make it onto site. The jungle player misses the off shot. Is he going to catch this peak? He's got to worry about Palace. He's got to worry about Stairs. He's not in an easy spot. They re-smoke off CT. So I, this AUG isn't going to see much here. He's going to aggress up. They're going to look to play for this still. A lot of damage onto site A players. CT is coming up connector. CT has Stairs and CT spawn. There's the first kill found. Palace player is still swinging. Catches the opera looking, but can't finish the kill. Project Toast does come in for the follow-up. Another one, but on, but defusing is sticking it. The spray isn't quite going. Let's off the bomb. Can't get the kill. Neither can find it. And there it is. That was pretty funny. <laughs> that is a six all half. Uh, Ke Kev started freaking out a bit. <laughs> he was, oh yeah. Was... Both players. Uh, I think if. Assuming the CT had a kit, if he had held it, I think he would have actually walked away with that round win and the 7-5. But, yeah, I didn't Frog, he had a kit. It is 6-6, six, six, and now that Frog is on CT side, they have a really, really good chance of winning this out. They just gotta get, you know, if I think if they take down, like, the first three rushes from from wet, they're probably good. They probably just win because the mental's gonna be fucked. I think you have to start with taking pistol round. And looks like we're going to get a solid B take. No no uh, util scene on B site, but only one B player from wet. So it'll depend on how these initial fights go. First player living, calling in reinforcements. They do get the trade out on that aggressive swing, probably misplaced by Frog. And now CTs are going to start coming out. There's one trade. Traded back. 2v... 3v2 for the CTs. This is your this is your retakes from Go. Got to work on these. There's another one. 1v2. Can he stay alive? Not long enough. This should be a good defuse. Plenty of time left on the clock. That is an important win for Wet, especially because T's with the bomb plant are going to be able to force on this, and CTs need to be ready for that. Yeah, it's likely they have AKs in the next round, um, and so the buy will actually be weaker for the CTs here. I don't know if the Ts will aggress for that AK. They probably won't end up with any util. I would expect maybe some Galils and some MAC-10s. Looks like we have mostly MP9s across the board. One FAMS, one A1S. A1S will take this mid look. And... They do have a Galil on Penguins, but yeah, MAC-10s on the rest of the T side. Yeah, I think that's pretty standard. You're you can you can either fall out apps or what looks like they're about to do here is come out 
A main. They're just looking for, and they're gonna get a lot of this aggression out of wet if they push up too far. Not properly clearing top of palace, and then not getting the kill back. I don't know what happened there. Just decided to reload. MP9 gets the double from default, traded out. CTs are just getting too many kills if he aggresses into this. But he is caught standing top Tetris. T still have a shot on this. Got enough damage out. They don't have bomb plant yet, but at aggression from the CT player. Not quite sure what he was expecting there. So low on health, too alive. I feel like he probably just was like, I'm either going to get peaked or I do the peaking and try to let the, the peaker's advantage do the work, I guess, is the idea. Peter's advantage does feel weird in two in CS2 with his sub tick. I expect this full save to come out of Frog. We'll see how aggressive Wet plays this. And actually how aggressive FRG plays this. Alright, they got one kill out of it, two kills out of it, but still individually swinging two kills. Not bad for a full eco. Three alive should have AKs. This should be a buy. What are we thinking here? Probably gonna gonna do a typical split, like a two-one-two coming up here, trying to watch for the aggression. Or do you think Frog continues their their high lines? I think they're just gonna stick it on the gas pedal to keep it aggressive. I don't see any reason for them to slow down while it's working. Well, right now they're down two rounds, eight-six off of the the lost pistol and the lost uh, eco. Oh no, sorry, they, they won the first round, it's 7-all. 8-7. Trying... 8-7. With the uh, wet in the lead. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, 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 they won the pistol, lost the forest, lost the then eco after that. Never mind, cool. I'm remembering enough rounds, guys, I swear. It's not midnight and I'm tired. Midnight for me here on the east. Down to a 4-3 advantage for Wet. We'll have to see how Frog wants to play this. That's a misstep in Ladder Room. They'll have heard that with the jungle player. But now the T's have aggressed into Underpass. This is an interesting split. Is that B-Web going Underpass, back up to Apps, Bort holding Ladder Room, and then one under Window and one Cat? This is... No, falling back to TV Room, I think. This is... Interesting. Both teams seem to be holding like they know where the other one is, but neither want to aggress. We do have a CT back on to B. This is a good place for him to be. That nade shouldn't give him any information, but it does give the T's information. Flash onto what is probably Cat. Flash onto Site. Two coming out. They know one's here. There is a pick by the CTs. Did not doesn't deny the plant by killing, but denies the plant by scaring. Does get the kill. Houdin just needs to stay alive. Oh, that was Follow a up by the market player. Market gets another one. And what happened there? Wet just. Just couldn't that was a didn't hit their shots. Poutine. Poutine, Poutine stayed alive. That's all he needs to do in those situations. You just need to stay alive, let your rotates come in, um, and then just uh, try to take yeah, one with perfect. you. And he ended up getting two, I think. Yeah, Poutine got, got two on that one, I do believe. Got lucky that, although he didn't get the kill on the planter, the, the planter got off to, to you know, not die, and then aggressed into him and, and lost the fight. Poutine, MVP, gold star for that round. That was great. Wet is definitely going to be reeling a little bit from that loss. That that should have been a round with a 4-3. They, they were so spread out. I think that was it. They, they did not aggress onto site together because they were too lost. This is going to be a timing kill on Von Eel. He swings it. Doesn't get... T gets distracted by the by the CT coming out from stairs. Tries to swing on Von Eel, but it's too late. Von Eel is back looking at Palace. Great kill by him. Good trade there from the T's. Off shot, beautifully timed. Another kill by the T's. Okay, this is this is still back and forth. This is this is anyone's match so far. And there's the palace re-entry for the CT. Good plant going down. I know I've said this a couple of times, but this should be a save here. Poutine probably shouldn't go looking for these kills. Looks like he's gonna wait murder hole and not actually aggress. Hopefully he hears the footsteps. Can Cool Guy see his toes here? No, he's just holding back a little bit. 
Maybe saw them on the cross. Isn't even looking for it. Is not not gonna aggress him. That's the that's a good call by cool guy. Good good call by Poutine to not look for that. Does get to trade up off that Mac 10, which is very important. It was actually kind of rough. Uh, started this with Tech Nine. Oh, and, and uh, they also had steps three out. Uh, three Mac 10s there. So uh, I mean, just by like like armory like equipment, they should have lost that. But they actually did really well. Yeah, and then coming out with what was almost three AKs, Poutine with a bad swing late on two T's being already in CT, but small victory, Fallen did die to that bomb explosion. At best, you can call this an anti-eco by Frog. Looks like they're playing their default split right now. Still getting aggressive. Prodigy holding this line, but they've held this a couple of times, I expect. Yeah, B-Web's already looking for it, already looking to clear it, and does, takes no damage. Then gets a little, little aggressive. Doesn't know that there's not another one here. Looking for the under palace peak, but Vaniel should hold. He shouldn't swing this. But T's already have a lot of control. Oh, Penguins hasn't cleared and doesn't look. Ditch drop for his troubles. That is going to be a big kill. You know he's there now, but he's pinched and doesn't have his crosshair high enough. Only gets the leg taps with those. And that one AK pickup looks like it's not going to be enough to get any more kills out of this. Unless the T's go to hunt. Because bomb should go down here. Oh, a wide open plant. Brazent, and there's the final kill. Does go looking for the kill. B Web with a triple, I believe, there. Solid round out of wet. Let's so I hate to bring this up now, guys, but uh, how's your predictions looking for how this match was going to go? Oh, I still got faith in Frog. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Frog's still going to win this. Here, don't, but... don't you worry. Don't you worry. Well, yeah. hear that, Frog lovers. You still got two out of three casters on your side. FRG. FRG. We see a, a round that I expect more out of these two teams. This sort of mid between aggression although a big push into into palace and a trade up of an mp9 into an ak just as i say they're going to play a more relaxed round two good picks from cts a good trade up a good trade back on von Neal and palace but is already traded out after hiding sandwich probably knew he was there just a solid clear out of that smoke and now, Wet's on the back foot, does take this aggressive peek out of TV room, runs out of bullets, and can't get the kill. Cool guy, good kill there, brings this back to a 2v3 possible round, depending if they if the T's can sync back up and make some kind of aggression together. Currently split underpass and top mid, but the CTs are also split. Does look like the con player saw the underpass and we'll see what kind of information this breaks out 1b 1a and this con player dancing back and forth in jungle probably heard the jump up into the window did gets the kill spray down not even looking for him has to clear too many angles no utility no and then underpass up to con can't get anyone else prodigy toast easy back for him and forth. The issue with this is the back and forth actually hurts the CTs more in the long run. Uh, however, I, actually, I do believe that the T's will still be able to buy this round, so it didn't. They had to win one more for this to be um, worth it for the CTs, I guess. The CTs do need to try to keep more alive because their economy is not going to be held. They don't get a free three hundred dollars for planting or defusing the bomb. They to to win a couple of rounds back, they're going to need to keep three plus alive in order to buy. You know. This aggressive take by the T's coming all the way up. Cat, not able to get the, the B player off yet. He's still alive. Gets one. Can't be traded out. Okay, there we go. They finally clinch it up. Two out of three survive on to B. Apps comes out, but the CTs are already rotated back. They've, they're in market. They're ready for this retake. 
3v4 in favor of the T's and see how Frog wants to approach this. Right now, a bunch of utils just trying to delay time so the CTs can't get onto site. They are going to aggress, jump aggressively out of window, come out of door through the gray screen. They're just spraying into the darkness. Get two. Offer takes shots, trying to stick it, and cannot. 2v1 shouldn't be able to hold that. Good job by Wet after aggressively taking the round and having that advantage, holding it out. Should leave the CTs and FRG in a tough buy here. Although board on a Mac means that the T's money isn't in great shape. Either fallen AFK again or just late in making his buys. Yeah, still AFK and spawn. No timeout by Wet. I don't know what's going on there, but playing this 4v5, yeah, you're teasing. You can sort of deal with a disadvantage, but that'll definitely hurt, especially when two early kills by the CT players. Yes, B-Web is able to come in and get it, but there's a little bit of damage going on. They don't know about the boosted player. They're not looking for him. Maybe an early get, but does get the bomb planter and oh. the double. Solid. Fallen being AFK. Now just with the Glock, maybe internet issues? He's just standing. All right, he's alive. But I don't know what kind of contribution he's going to have. No point in him saving. He. That was absolutely the worst time to... to have gone afk that round was so important you won this one and the cts were done for yeah that's so weird i'm wondering what that was about and then he walked over to uh stairs and then just went afk again this isn't the first time i think this series that he's been the one afk i think he had one I think on the last time Nuke it was as well on oh, was it board I think it was all right the last time. a little bit of damage fallen's able to get but no more, and the round easily held in a surprising easy hold by the CTs. They should trade up here, though. Probably not best to bonus these guns. You really want to take the advantage. Yeah, through a scroll through through that enemy's flashed, it doesn't seem like there's uh, a lot of enemies flashed. I mean, 10's not a bad number, but like for that to be the highest on your team, it seems like they're not using a whole lot of utility. Maybe what we're discounting here, yeah, only two players in double digits. Maybe what we're discounting, guys, is this is the first best of three of Recruit. These teams, if they haven't played in previous seasons, they're not necessarily ready for like the mental strain that it's going to be playing three in a row. We had a couple double headers, but that's two, and we're already up to three in a tight match that is back and forth. Interesting choice to push right through that smoke like that. Yeah, considering they had the 4v2 advantage, or actually 5v2 advantage and then pushing out there to get traded doesn't seem like the smartest choice this is how you hit that jump routine if, if you're curious there that is how you hit those jump ups a reload in the middle of nowhere that's not going to get you anything and wet with a solid round i'm not sure how frog's going to going to make this comeback happen but they're gonna have to pull out something out of their bag of tricks well, rush B. maybe a rush B seems to be a, a strategy being employed. <laughs> it looks like T's are just doing a standard default run out here. One apps, one a main, couple mid. Any aggression from Frog? No, it looks like they're going to try to hold these, you know, rattier angles as Sentinel has called them tonight. Seeing if they can trade up to some of those better weapons, they're really going to need a mistake to happen here by Wet in order to have a chance. Von Neal needs to hold this angle. He looks like he's dancing. Hopefully he doesn't get too aggressive and make a footstep when he doesn't need to. Showing his back to A main can be rough. He could get caught on the timing, but no. And now he's going to make footsteps and he's going to get caught here. Okay, he's able to make it default. Isn't dead yet. He's definitely lucky here. Makes it all the way to triple distracted this a main player if his teammate at top con would swing with him maybe they could get this pick even more util and time spent looking at that ct player but top con has his own thing to deal with jungle and top con there does get the kills can he focus he can't get the second kill 
This is going to be tough with the nade out. He's going to get pushed, but does drop MP9. Solid weapon at close range. High rate of fire. Molly trying to deny the bomb plan as it did not go down yet. 3v2. We've... Well, I missed a kill somewhere. But there it is. Now tied back up at 2. That's another rifle down. T's do have... A site. Not ready to plant yet. The loud drop down, but is able to get the trade. 2v1. They need to play this together. Rushes out early. Got a smoke. It is dropped. Oh. But the refrag. Oh, that was is needed so, that was so clutch. Yeah. The, that was I don't know what CT clutch. was doing. He should have waited for his teammate. I, I don't know if like the, there was miscommunication where he was going to take contact, run through the smoke, and then get the other guy was going to refrag. But the timing was off. Because Prodigy Toast not... was not in a good spot to get that refrag. Yeah. Very lucky that the T was as exposed as he was. Dropping for Brian needs Brian to pull out another magical round here, as he's done in the past. This will be. We need a score check on Brian, please, Mr. Producer. This is a this is a pretty good buy by the CTs. Um, Shit. Not twenty yet. We gotta keep going. He is, uh, he is still showing that he's worth it, and we are at 12-11. This is our last round. This is a full buy from everyone. Whatever's left in the coffers, you got to spend. CTs have already taken Palace. Wet has definitely played Mirage interestingly. They've, they've gone on their defaults. They've gone on stacks. Right now, they've got a couple of players coming out from underpass, it looks like. Bort already jumping into window, but is traded out. That is great by Prodigy Toast to get that initial pick. And now Wet looks like they're going to pause right here, although they do have Fallen and another teammate coming up here. They're slowly clearing sight. Yep, trying to check for that boost up. Uh, yeah, they don't want to get caught uh, he's again. He's aware. He is aware of that boost. He sees the gun. He sees the gun. Uh, the he gun. doesn't. No way. Okay, he no, he's just it. checking. Just checking. He does not see the boost, I think. I think he's gone past it. I think he missed the leg. Oh, no. He doesn't see it. Fallen's going to get dropped there. Can he get the second? Oh, he does. One more, got... one more bench. Can't get it. Holy... This is a three v one to send this to together. overtime. They need they to peek together. To They're together. individually taking fights. Oh no! This is a bad fight. Bomb hasn't gone down. Oh, he's he exposed. The molly oh, down. My goodness. Forced him out, but his teammate still isn't swinging with him. Oh, is window saw him. <laughs> taking shots isn't deterred. Is going to so, watch for no. the. Apps guy. Where was the communication there? How is he not looking at Cat? Yeah, communication. Market has to, to wait this out. He's pushing him because he get the swing. He yes, does. Let's go. I'm Saves sorry. Saves the, the round. It's was that? OT. Who that was that on insane. that last kill? Brian. Brian coming through and Clutch we get OT. God, Brian. I don't know who has the advantage in these first three. That this match has been wow. so back and forth. Six six in both halves. Obviously, we're getting full buys here. They start with 10k. We'll play three rounds and swap again three rounds. So both teams will play. Both teams will play three rounds in this half. We need to win by two. So it's first team to 16. With both teams tied again at 15. Then we'll go into overtime two. Well, they'll start on the, the side that they played on second half. And we'll run it back again for another six rounds at and check again and rinse and repeat until we have a winner. So not only are we in third map playing two, first a nail biter, second domination on Vertigo, and now a back and forth overtime slog in the first round. No, no mollies into apartments, but able to oh get the double goodness. from Bench. Does he get the triple? Two more fallen out. One come up. Van gets the kill on Van. Doesn't know that one dropped onto site, but his teammate from Cat is able to drop him. And that is a way that to start the OT first the, the half. B anchor for Frog has been immaculate. I just got to say that he is actually playing it super well. I think Poutine has been the one holding it down. Was that Poutine again on, on that with the A1S? If so, was, he uh, deserves. Prodigy. Was that Prodigy? Okay, then then whoever so. keeps rotating into B is just playing out of their mind. I guess B has the magical stuff for Frog, and maybe Wet should be the one avoiding B site and taking A. Prodigy with early aggression there. Early aggression is punished, but the Molly is able to deny any re-aggression. T 
T's have taken mid control and they do molly out the con player, but haven't taken too much space mid. Sort of playing back a little bit. They do have bottom window, but probably came out of underpass. 5v4 advantage is to the T's because of that, that aggression from Toast into Palace. No executes, even in this final round. Prodigy Toast with a pick on Cool Guy. Good tab. You know, that AK that they saved from that previous round, mattering here. Off shot taken from a main Palace coming out. Palace able to drop the ticket player because he's staring at a main. No teammate there to trade him out or to watch the opposite angle for him. That's gonna that's gonna come back to haunt them if they can't take this round. Two players from jungle, three players from jungle and stairs area. That is the last three CT in this 3v3. Bomb not down yet. T's aggressing into CT and murder hole, looking for something. And CT's pushing out mid, both teams unsure of where the other ones are. And if T's get get lucky with this and the CT's leave site and don't check, but that op shot will give them away. Stairs player is not able to get one. Op player does drop the double there. Making all these moves that Murhol should catch him, and that is it. That is a response by Wet. You lost the first one, but taking this. So last round of first half teams will start with 10k start in next half so there's no reason not to buy this will be another buyout just like last round of a half i think uh a wet needs to like stop that b rush they need to keep playing mid and a because that's that's where they seem to be getting wins initial pick by probably toast into mid looks like he did get it that is a big pick by taking mid control by the cts I haven't seen them do that a lot looks like the t's are setting up for some kind of distraction util maybe on to con or cat i don't know where that lineup is right now two players underpass probably for for cat then based on where this opera is swinging from because toast is already up into cat uh smoke underpass stairs i assume that was oh oh nope yeah that's probably just a, a miss i was just seeing the uh the outline through thinking somebody had the stairs. not ready for the pick but the op does trade from cat i guess that smoke or the molly didn't do exactly what they wanted they have a crossfire at top con two coming up one top con one out stairs now one bottom con AK does win that fight on the A player, but A main is able to trade out, and oh. again, Frog, great half, winning one and three in the first half. 20 in OT isn't as impressive as 20 in regulation. I think anything Brian does is impressive, so... <laughs> yeah, B-Web <laughs> is dropping absolute bombs out there right now. He's got 28 kills, that's crazy. Penguins so now, with 25. Yep, so now we've swapped halves. So now Frog gets to show off if they can keep this pressure up, probably. Looks like they're going to go for that aggressive mid-peak, probably flashing out Toast, trying to swing into the window player. Window is already there. It'll be interesting to see if they get their lineup. Toast taking that slow peak and is going to get punished for it by Penguins. Penguins is too good for to not dry peak like that. Penguins catching a glimpse of the shoulder, but nothing more. And this underpass player might try to catch Penguins out if he's not careful. I think he heard the jump. Definitely hears the shots ring out. Isn't ready for him, but the AK fires a little early and Penguins is able to escape. Molly will come in to force him back. That might have landed a bit far. He might push back into window. No, he's safe. He's going to hold back. This jump happened again. Nade does ring out for a little bit of damage, but a top con player will snuff out the underpass. I don't think he knows that Brian's there. Probably thinks that that's the same guy that sprayed penguins in, in window. Poutine slowly creeping out apps. Let's see where penguins tries to take this fight. Does get spotted. Has the nade. They're kind of slow. Not sure what T's going to do. T does aggress into con, and Brian gets the kill. Two of them probably probably did not hear those footsteps, actually. Not in market, I think. Rushing into underpass. Three CTs holding bench. 
gets the kill. Penguins gets the second kill and the third to end the round right there on a beautiful head tap through the wall on the two underpass rushers. 14 all in overtime. We'll need to see one team take these next two rounds or we're going to see overtime part two. Looks like we're going to get the mid-duel right now. Penguins has the advantage, but no one is going to repeat him here. Looks like Frog is going to take this aggressive A out. No execute smoke. They're just going to hard clear all of these things. The Molly is going to burn underpass. CTs still do get two. Penguins gets the off swing back out. Frog may need to reassess this. They're not stopping. They've got full go. Two Molly kills. But this is going to be seen. Fallen. Although he may have struggled early, that is a great kill by him there, knowing to clear that hard Tetris. And right here, Frog needs an answer. And based on these buys, they've got most of what they need, but probably Toast is who we're watching here. And with a MAC-10, I have that skin, um, is here because those op buys are going to punish him and how much money he's got. Looks yeah, like Wet again. Time here for Frog. Yeah, Wet's going to do their default. They're going to hope to get everything. Penguin's going to be a little useless on this round if this B rush happens, if this B execute goes, because he's going to be looking the wrong way. The underpass, they do like this sort of underpass mid take. I wonder if they do the boost here to try to avoid the noise from running bench. It looks like they got two players under window. They could easily do this, but it looks like they're going to think better of it. Jump onto bench, just get the check, but the top con player is watching, knows that they like to do this underpass push, Brian and Prodigy. Prodigy Toast does know to look for it. He's staring at him, but neither are going to aggress. Everyone's waiting for that mistake of that first player. That sounded like a desk pop. Top mid fighting. Nade goes out. Hasn't seen anyone, so he is just playing for the noise. Gets swung on and loses the fight, not ready for the close peak was swinging for the top mid player window is smoked out that is an advantage for frog but they're going to need to carry for the rest of this round in order to get this win and to force o time second half of overtime second round of overtime whatever we're calling it's like 30 seconds left they gotta make a decision on what they're doing yeah this has been forever they have to go on to the site and there's the pick on to b they can't go b b is no longer available they're gonna have to run somewhere we're taking a fight onto A. There's two people CT right now. CTs are kind of spread. Catches the Glimpse murder hole. Does get the kill, but B is dropped again by Arches. Arch traded out. Bomb is going to go down. Should be enough time. We're all good. Just enough time. But we're here in footsteps, so it'll all have to be. This is actually a 3v1. They were able to get that, that last kill to make this a 3v1. Obviously, you're going to go for this regress uh, last round. Goes for the no scope. I don't quite know why. Could have had time. Yeah, spotted out the player. Everyone should be hidden right now. There should be no one on angles. Doesn't Double matter. OT. And we're going to OT part two. Electric Boogaloo of map three. This Holy is a fucking great map. Let me tell this, you, this is this is what our, the recruits needed. Our I producer seems to be favoring this map. B rush. And first recruit stream <laughs> of all CSE season. Hope we're delivering something interesting for you, especially if you came from those clearly boring elite streams that were and happening now earlier Brian tonight. Is top frag. So what did Always I top frag and sentinels hard, that's for sure. Oh. So now, oh, and Toast is there early and able to beat Penguins on the peak. That is huge. I saw no flash out from the CTs, so Penguins was just hoping he had a better spawn. Toast beat him out there. Dry peaking that is such a hard thing to do in CSGO, let alone in CS2. But B Web with a great double at T stairs to rebalance this map. And. Do I have my teams backwards? I have my. No, I had I had my teams right. B Web did did balance that right, and then Bort yeah. picking up that op. That's where I got confused and getting a good kill on that palace peek out. I'm getting confused on my names, guys. It is it is late for me. It is 12:30 here. But such a good game to watch. Glad to be a part of it. 
let's see who's able to figure this out because now this 2v4 is going to be tough there's no real reason to save guns here they should try to look for as many fights as they can everyone will have buys for next round no matter what Saving the op might be worth it here, though, because as we saw last time, Toast had to finish it off with a Mac-10 just so that the rest of the team could have AKs, right? Even if someone else buys for him next round. Yeah, even if he buys the, the AK for someone else. But it is interesting, that was the round that they won. Because um, they, they dropped the first two. So it, oh, no. it is not going to clear this, but does get the bomb down. Can't get the finish kill, but is traded. Bort is there to go. Another step. Yep, stairs player, and Bort is going to get that kill from CT. Solid round from Wet. They need another one of those here. And preferably for them, they can, they can get all three in this half and really give the pressure to Frog to play the best CT of their life. Good plant, though, that does get them the money. Uh, means nobody's, you know, everyone's getting getting funds this round. No one's getting zero money for just surviving to time. That initial peak by Toast just undelivered because everyone seems to have just forgotten that CTs can take that aggressive push, especially with anybody util, and just take a main and not clear it and B-Web punish them for that last round. And we've seen that a number of times on this map. Probably, especially with that mist smoke, I want to contribute a lot of this to these these players just being tired. A best of three is hard to play. You know, this is all something we do for fun, and we don't do a lot of best of threes, and they may not have run any. Neither of these teams may have run any of them up till now. So this could be their first time running these with the aggression unscopes and is punished for it. Four going to waterfall out, but the molly does help, does delay the push, takes in a lot of damage. Good pick from the market window, most likely. Two or three of them are now fanned. That is going to be tough if any util comes back in there. there CTs the have been able to collapse. There's the nade that I was just talking about. Big damage onto at least one of them. Think about the Prodigy Toast. Good molly. They're going to boost back into apartments. Should have heard the step, but looks away. Goes back and gets the bomb. Unable to trade. On site, doesn't look for it, doesn't communicate from the team. One left alive, 1v2, one, one on site, and the Opper will finish it. That is two for the CTs in this half, and that puts Wet in a very, very good position heading into the final round of the first half of second overtime. <laughs> it's a bit of a bit of a mouthful. Final it is way the, too last long. Last half of the second half. But... First half of Overtime Part 2 of Map 3 of the first round of Recruit Playoffs. Yeah, say that five times fast. Can't even <laughs> say it once normally. We're getting some good util from teammates, but Toast unable to peek off it. Maybe just trying to to force Peng Penguins out of it. Oh, no, with pick. a good pick because of that ag uh, aggression out of the CTs. I don't know why. It's You're only up by two if you lose this one. Oh. And a great pick by someone coming out of Ladder Room. CTs are just making some mistakes here. Okay, good good no shot right there by Penguins, but does look away, acknowledging that he probably made that call to his teammates and needs to get some other information because top mid is fully lost now. And that molly probably didn't pop exactly where he wanted it to. Maybe it did. Misses the shot, must have gotten it through his legs. Sub tick issue there. Does not. I don't see any blood. Maybe he even flicked to that wall. I saw a bullet hole on that on the brick. Not looking good for Wet. Those two initial peaks, maybe not their best decision, and now it could come back to punish them. But CTs do get a good pick. Opera is still CT. They don't have enough util to close this off. Gets the pick CT. Bomb is going down for CT. Brian is in front, looking to hold any aggression coming on site. Two CTs looking to rotate through spawn. Cool guy looks like he's dropping down cat or window window so this is three people all together one b lurk coming around just too late to catch the guy leaving market upcoming ct murder hole does catch the b player but is able to punish and frog scrapes one out at the end there 17 16 17 heading into the second half unnecessary w now this is it that this is where, was this is where frog takes it home
that was Wet's round to lose. Frog should be ecstatic after that round win, and they should ride that high into this. They need to play strong, but they need to not take those aggressive peaks. Maybe, you know, playing one and playing that high line, watching for the A main rush, watching for Palace, maybe even like a good Molly and Smoke combo on B, but they don't need to get stupid aggressive like Wet did in that last round. That really cost them. Toast with a great pick. But the Another. second one is the re as the relook. No one's been doing that. Did that they I think miss I've the seen. smoke and window? Why did all three of them run out like that? I think they did miss the smoke because toast was perfectly good, but I saw the the plume of it just at the edge of his at the edge of uh, window box, whatever you want to call it. That nade didn't do the right thing. This just looks this like sloppy, tired play. But right now, Frog is getting every benefit off of it. Yeah, Wet looks like they just got dismantled there. They had no clue what was going on. Wet, I assume, yeah, has a full is. timeout here. Oh, oh okay. This miss. Fallen is able to get one on, I think, Von Eel. And he should be looking just to get as many frags as possible here. Good flash. Wet needs, I think, to take a timeout at the end of this round and to really just reset their... Bort, you know, needs to calm everybody down, get a good execute going, get whatever their standard play is in order to run it. They need to pick up, if not this round, if something, if Fallen doesn't come out with something magical here, they need to take the round after this in order to stop the momentum of Frog. Fallen is coming all the way around. Is he going to catch them? Is he going to catch Frog sleeping? Looks like he might. They're not looking for him all the way back here, but he can't get the kill. And the off, I just heard that shot ring out from jungle, and there it is. Yeah, we saw that he was trying to lurk around for that bomb. I was surprised that none of the Frog players were expecting him on that wrap. They just sort of gave it up. Got very lucky that Fallen couldn't land that headshot at range. 17 all. This is a make or break round for both teams. If Frog takes this, they take three in a row. They have such a dominant place. If Wet takes this, they could break the back of Frog just emotionally. But that is a big pick by Toast again at mid. Penguins is going to be mad about that they need they needed some early advantage here looks like both teams back to that old probing method trying to figure out where everyone is throwing some util dropping out straight to smoke aggression out of the cts is refragged back brian does drop b web down to a 4v3 Terrorist can still pull this out. Prodigy trying to jump spot underpass. Not quite seeing anything. But is known about. At this point, CT should know that there are at least two mid. I don't think they know about the one underpass because they haven't held it. They have a high apartments line that if someone were to swing it, it'd be rough. Flash into A. They do take that spray at connector. No one's really seen. Bottom mid and top mid is the fighting ground right now. Murder Hall is stuck, but he is able to make it out. This does give T's a little bit more space to breathe in mid, but not quite sure what they want to do. Apps player is taking an even more aggressive line. He's going to hear all these footsteps from the cool guy. Drops one, swings, drops the second one, and this should be Frog's round to win. And this should set them up for the best chance to take this in double OT. Fallen would have to pull off a miracle here. Poutine has had a very good map here. That was, he's, he's done such a good job on the B side, man. Yeah, if we can bring up the stats right here. Fallen, no time left there, had nothing else. Poutine, 3,200 damage. Brian, 3,200 damage. Prodigy, 3,000 damage. Only B web over 3K for wet that is going to tell you the difference there good headshot Bort percentages bort's up to 23 enemies flashes now since i've mentioned that i think he was at 12 last time 
12 was so, the highest number we saw so they have doubled since since we've th talked about it maybe they're listening to us and they're taking advice yeah. obviously right. maker this is another deciding round and, and i guess that means frg won because we just dropped out of the stream we can assume that uh, the congrats with the, with the go tv delay yeah congrats frg is the uh, winners FRG a takes a nail biting way to end it. map three on Mirage, dropping the initial map. Their pick on Nuke probably could be chalked up to the fact that that drop was having some internet issues, had a power outage, wasn't really up to snuff. They played multiple rounds without him. He rejoined. They still really couldn't get anything done on Nuke. They dropped their Mac pick by the time. They roll into Vertigo, Wet's map pick. They've subbed out Drop. He just can't play with his internet issues. They pick up Brian, Sentinel's favorite player. And he, Brian is just the hammer that rains down on Wet on Vertigo. And Frog show a dominant performance on Wet's map pick, forcing us to round three, which you just watched on Mirage. And then a nail biter, 6-6, six, six, both halves, double OT down to the very last round. And Frog pulls it out. Sadly, we don't get to see that last round due to the Go TV delay, but still a great match to watch. That would have been 18-16 in double OT. If I have that math right, that is... That is a great win for Frog. They're definitely the Pretty most cool. tested team going into the semifinals where they will face off. This was the 2 7 matchup. So they play the winner of 3 6, which was ATL, I want to say. Yeah, ATL beat Goshi's, I think. I'm just making predictions. I'm talking out of my butt right now. It is. Almost one o'clock in the morning where I am, and I am very tired. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Great game to watch. Recruits where it's at, honestly. <laughs> goated much... fucking goated goated tier for sure. Yeah. Best <laughs> Best tier. Ignore pr ignore prospect, ignore contender, ignore elite, ignore premier, recruit. Now you ask where is recruit? bottom we are the newest tier with quote unquote the lowest mmr and we delivered that kind of match that was a solid match to watch you guys have anything else we want to fill in before we sign off we had a great a great observer and producer here with pumpkin spice aka dr freeman milky sentinel any last words GG's to both uh, teams. That was one of the most fun matches I've watched in a while. Um, and Pumpkin Spice, great job behind the camera, man. That was awesome. Yes, yes. Great observing. Uh, great game. Very entertaining. Um, also, uh, Brian number one. There you go. That's my last word. So that is CSE's recruit first stream of season 12 signing off on a solid, solid match by both teams. Frog luckily pulling it out after dropping all the way to the seventh seed in map three on Mirage. We'll see what they bring next week or Thursday, I believe, in the quarterfinals. And that is Locio, Milky and Sentinel signing off for now.